Hello and welcome back to Urban Chaos. And when we last of all, we stumbled into a gunrunner depot to the west of Gotham City. And after some careful maneuvering and using our camouflage to good advantage, well, we managed to overcome the, uh, yeah, I think it was the 3 to 1 ratio in terms of being outnumbered. So, well, it was worth coming here after all because we grabbed ourselves a couple of decent firearms. But, uh, well, it's kind of paramount that we don't take any substantial damage. And after a couple of nasty engagements here all around, I am not taking any chances indeed because the six people are indeed our six combat effective people right now, the only ones we have for that matter, so that means we taken some militia friends with us and we will be flashing out that these two patrols, hopefully in one engagement in the middle of the night with an unknown number of, yeah, fantastic indeed. Well, if there's a tank around, we also have, of course, a couple of rocket launches to work with. We have uh, these things, which are, yeah, I think these are ferrobaric, yes, so, wow, well, they should be used against uh, these tanks, at least the drag lines too, but otherwise we'll be using probably gases, uh, yeah, what was it again here, the RPG-26, uh, which of course is a disposable rocket launcher. Ja, yeah, well, we have to hope that our militia friends there will be staying away from the tank, yes. And otherwise, I also ordered all the face plates we could be getting on Bobby Ray's together with the crossbow and all the arrows we could be getting our hands on. Ja, yeah, so that would be relatively interesting. Uh, this being a silenced, uh, well, of course, it's a crossbow. So it will be very quiet, hopefully. And I would like to put this to the test. And otherwise, we also got ourselves another stun gun, I believe, because we only have a one on wing right now. We wouldn't have to have a second one and also posted uh, covert ops here. Okay, text also covert ops incidentally. We are just using him this particular uh, well, assignment, of course. And otherwise, is there anything else worth talking about? Okay, um, our two medics, of course, we have seen last episode, and they're trying to hear these people, even though town loyalty is still too low to make use of the hospital, supposedly. So, okay, it's 57, probably need that's 80 or something like this, right? Well, presumably. Uh, we can also investigate if we don't want to start producing some uh, ammunition for our soldiers. That could not be a terrible idea. So, we have 57 loyalty, and that means we can build most of the stuff locally. That's nice. Uh, what we want to use or standardize on because the 762 Tokra seems to be relatively decent for our submachine guns and we are all really have a need for 9x18 armor piercing for instance and this is uh, 60 bucks a crate or box even I think it's 200 rounds yes well, alright then, I think we can think about this, um, but I want to stand as on something, so we don't want to have all the production lines running uh, non-stop here around the clock, that seems a little bit unnecessary, right? Okay, so, uh, but something worth considering, uh, so it takes like two hours, but we can always stop this in case we don't need any additional ammo, of course, so that's not a problem, we also handed the shield back to Paco for some repairs, because the ballistic shield is indeed the unavailable, I'm not quite sure where we can be getting this, probably one of the police stations in one of the towns closer to Adriana, I would say respect or AD whatever you prefer. Well then, let's just move forward and see what we can accomplish today. Hopefully no one will be catching a bullet to the face, right? Yeah, so poor, poor I see. Man. Oh man, I'm so sorry, but what can I do here about this good uh, Okay, never mind. Let's just move forward and see what we can accomplish. And yes, we would most definitely uh, yeah, do this. That would be nice. Finally, a stand-up firefight, not some run and hide bullshit. Yeah, with a couple of reinforcements, I doubt. So they bring in another 19, I believe, for some of the discs. Reinforcements, well, isn't that great? Well, um, I'm not quite sure where the other guys came from. Probably closer to the Manto Institution. Or just um, providing such as a blocking force on the country road leading to the capital, also a possibility, I guess. So we have uh, 16 militia, we have 13 enemies, we have 6 mercs, and of course there will be, well, there may not be a tank in here, we just don't know right now. So, okay, let's see what we can accomplish. And once again, this being dark, in the ah! Oh, they couldn't get the first turn. Obviously, the light. Oh, there must be some landmines around there, presumably, right? Hopefully, we don't step on too many doors. Damn! Oh, all right then. Uh, I'm not quite sure where we are, because evidently we didn't get a uh, into choose our entry positions. Uh, there is indeed a tank around. Uh, are there more than. Is there more than one? Yeah, so there may be actually the case. So, <laughs> well, this is not great, especially for our militia friends. So, where are we for that matter? Yes. So, we spawn the next to the truck, always nice, is it not? Okay, so let's take a better review of the situation because I cannot see anything like period on my minimap or even on this map here to be specific. It's extremely dark, it's not a single light source right now. So, we have one Humvee, okay, there is one tank, other two tanks around. Um, is there space for another tank back here? Well, if it's parked um, in the other direction, then presumably yes. Okay, fantastic indeed. Obviously, the tank will be taken our militia apart in case we don't do anything about it. So, Gus is our heavy weapons operator and Gus can shoot this thing here, presumably. This, uh, he could shoot this from all the way back there to be tried this. I mean, we can hand him the rockets from Root Dog and this will save quite a few lives along the way. Uh, I think we start with this, but I'm not quite sure about Muscle Flash, uh, but this will be giving away our position. 
I'm not quite sure. I don't see anything about massive flashes because I don't quite remember how this thing is set up here. So over this distance probably will be missed, right? So we can move forward a couple of tiles here. So we need to aim fully, of course. So we have 40 action points where we can be moving up. Well, that's nice. Without putting any obstructions in our line of fire, that would be even better. Now, ideally, we don't want to fight this thing if we are... It's stuck in the open one, so we try this. Okay, fantastic. And uh, yeah, now we uh, need, of course, more action bots. Of course, we need to look around, but we can still aim fully. And this being heavy weapons on the right, that's supposedly we should be able to get this thing vaguely on target. But not one uh, rocket will be good enough for men to be seen. Okay, we try this first, yeah, I guess. Uh, the tank can also get interrupts, I believe. But they're starting at lower level to make this less likely for reasons that should be quite obvious from a balancing point, right? Okay, but I think we try this. We just, uh, yeah, I think the two people just got automatically once they're done. He was on target, it was a single hit kill, that's good, and that means we are down, I mean they are down one tank, um, so, okay, maybe there's 12 dudes, the soldiers it is, uh, the are completing infantry and one tank, okay, could be the case, I'm not quite sure, and if the, um, yeah, special division has some vehicles in their roster, we should be seeing this on the minimap, which we do not right now, so, okay, that's excellent, uh, this being an important sector, might actually keep the militia back with us here, gonna be a terrible thing, okay, well, um, sure, let's yes. move forward, and where will the rest of the enemies be located, probably not in, uh, yeah, that's probably the minefit around here, let's just be honest with ourselves, and I think the only mine detector is the thing right now, and the wing is indeed not with us right now, so we have to yeah. be careful. Yeah, okay, who is that guy? Why is he so far away? Well, hopefully they can take um, a part here, I don't think we need to spread out that far, and also keep a low profile, uh, in case yes. the militia friends, they get a bit too trigger happy. Well, that means we can raise up with some confidence, as long as we don't slip on any mines, that would be swell. I think the mine shouldn't be right next to the road, right? That seems a little bit unlikely. So, okay, well, there's probably another tank back here. And in this case, around, we probably just try to go a bright light or two on top of them or something like this. Okay, and the other tank, I'm not quite sure about this visual range. Probably should have checked, right? Okay, so next thing on mine, probably passing the, uh, this rocket. Uh, yeah, I think we can, yeah. So, this is now guns link, so that's a good thing. So, we are ammo bearer for now, I'm thinking. And we can pass him right now because now that we skip us as right, because it should be the first thing on our mind, technically speaking. And the scheme is also a night ops, of course. So, to keep the profile afterwards, we pass that uh, rocket launcher here to our friend. And he can use this thing in some capacity. Oh, but we mind the special damage on these Fernberg rockets is insane. Yeah, played insane. Okay, um, what is their point? Probably, because I simply cannot see a goddamn thing, so we should be focusing our attention on this yes. general facility, I partner. guess. Okay, uh, well, at the mines around, we should probably yes. focus uh, and also partner. follow each other's footsteps, right? Presumably. Okay, we still have a camouflage plate from dust engagement, so it should be relatively decent. And you have to have this uh, combined muscle compensator thing here for the AK-100 series, which just come with an integral flash suppressor, at least in the really? terms. And we also did wave the sniper rifle, because frankly speaking, it's of no use uh, during the night engagement. The same goes for the 3.5 test magnification scope here, frankly speaking, as well. Okay, so we move up, we keep it on profile, and hope that we don't step on any landmines, which may or may not happen. At least the tank is down here in opening volley, because we happen to have a heavy weapons operator, yeah. right? Okay, so, um, well, there's no cover, and we have a muscle break, so... Yeah, well, okay, for now we just move up and see what we can accomplish. Oh, I don't see a good avenue, but there are probably some soldiers back there, right? We just have to make sure that we find some sound of decent position for our light machine gunner, but we don't have to use them. But it would be nice because they bring six people to the fight, and this uh, gun seems to be somewhat decent, uh, hopefully. Oh, we just have to wait and see, so that's our first time spent, you except for you, and you cannot do anything except to take the copper bows, but I don't think it's really the good time for this right now. Okay, two people. Three people, okay, so, so the fort. Ja, yeah, well, we see about this, my friend. Damn. Well, we're losing some people here. Yeah, see, there are landmines around, of course. Damn. So, we have been convention over there, apparently. Okay, so our militia friends, uh, at least by idea, they weren't really willing to move because they are scared, I guess. Okay, so uh, we don't want to find ourselves stuck in a minefield. And, uh, of course, the support and infantry is back here behind us. Back, yeah, uh, fortifications. And I think the last time we came, it was from the other way around, which why we completely bypassed their fortifications instead of just moving against them. Yeah, so maybe not the smartest play ever, but uh, hopefully we can manage. 
Howdy, so, wir gehen in die Interrupts, wie, äh, warum wir sie hier da oben, wir können schon retten, auch, weil sie alle mit uns verfreundet ist. In die Area, das geht darum, das Scorpion, äh, unfortunately. Ready. Okay, das means, wir wollen uns stay away vom, äh, hier, of course, ähm, mm -hmm. wir haben die schon beinnominiert, das Area, wir müssen to get back here, of course, und deswegen let him engagement, and we making the adjustments to the duration of these break lights, well, äh, uh, I think that will come in uh, handy here once in a while, right? Okay, so, it's, uh, take a little review, so, we're down to, uh, 11 people, and we can see, uh, I think we can see four of them, of speaking right okay so we should be advancing is somewhat careful him how do you okay, ready because as a let me surround we should be sticking to the wall because i don't want to step on mine yeah mine surround here yes. and certainly only scheme maybe would be capable how do you they take a couple of doors yeah but um yes okay we want to limit the enemies but we don't want to limit ourselves ready. so i think if we break like uh, next to the sandbags here some place it should be uh, giving us some good idea of what maybe going how on and we should be doing this Ah, uh, ja, yeah, we also keep this thing on here for this precise reason, so we can use this as a mobile breakdown, so to speak, instead of having this in Reddit for a couple of turns at a time. But then again, we also be illuminating ourselves, and we don't know about the presence of a second tank, which Ready. is what the other breakdowns would be useful for. Okay, well, obviously, we cannot be seen right now, so back here, uh, we don't think we'll be using this area necessarily, so why don't we try to see what's going on? Yeah, back here, some place. Also, the tank, if it's back here, can also see if it crosses this way. So, maybe this for this into the edge of the woods, see, I turn to flee. Maybe this another guy around, who knows? Let's just find out. Cray Eagle, uh, I have three people back partner. there. That's what I thought. Wow, that makes some easy pickings, I hope. So, we can see. Um, okay, only Razor and Texas can see, apparently. Wow, we can't be shoot right now. So, we just hit the dirt and keep ourselves a low profile. And then we do what is the text. I'll probably open it up on these people while they are visible, right? From the crowd stands, presumably. Um, wow, the rifles are ready anyway. Oh, I don't want to show for this in exposition here, presumably. We have some smoke courtesy of the lab man going off, and we can show this bad guy here, presumably, as well. But we try this, get a bit closer, and uh, we, now we cannot see, of course, since the. Yeah, this was the fault, so we have to take him off here momentarily, and now we refresh our line of sight, and now we should be able to get some accurate shots on this understanding target. Uh, okay, well, maybe <laughs> according to forward, probably not the best idea in terms of action points, but we can still offer free bullets here of suppression. <laughs> And we even get two shots on target. That's a good way for money proposition. So here I drop this weapon, which apparently we can tell from this angle. And we have another one, which we can, uh, I mean, who we can intercept right now would think, right? Yeah! Okay, well, uh, you can maybe bust away, but then again, the tank can also get interrupted. Uh, we have some smoke. Uh, okay, uh, if you bust away blindly from the current position, then we can maybe shoot uh, between these two militia friends. That's an option, but then again, we don't know about people in this general vicinity. So maybe they're open up right away, but first things first, Wait, let's uh, pass that uh, rocket launcher here to gas, please, my friend. So, okay, that's, uh, there we go. And then now we should be probably not uh, going too far away here from the side of the road, right, presumably, because well, there are some landmines around evidently. So, well, um, we should probably find out what's going on, because they're not going to be good for advance here anyway with Vager, right? And what's in the base is a grassy patch, is it Uh, one of those horrible ponds in the middle, I simply cannot tell. Well, you can see some trees, but there will be minefields around there, presumably. Okay, other enemies around, uh, probably quite likely. I think I'm not going to advance this way here anyway, so I think it's also uh, another break light opportunity for us, presumably. Yeah, back here, some place would be great, but then again, we have a couple of trees in the way, but uh, here goes nothing, I guess. Okay, well, it did not offer the results we're looking for because indeed there were quite a few trees in the way, but these have confirmed there don't appear to be any enemies right at this point in time. So keep the rocket launcher a little bit closer then, I would think. Yeah, okay, but for you, yes. uh, what can Scream be doing for us? He's our Night Ops Specialist, of course. Maybe he takes control of the other side of the road for now. Yeah, okay, we can see a couple of people. Uh, we can see the guy up front if we take off our... Then yeah, we can see further about this the problem with light sources and night vision goggles, especially the earlier variety, because they are not, uh, yeah, they're not, <laughs> they're dear tone with bright light sources very well, that's what I meant to say here. Okay, if we focus our entire uh, attention to the front, that's probably nice and all, but I'm sure it's a good idea. Well, okay, we can uh, shoot at him here through the scope, I suppose. He's critical, he's probably the other guy is strong, and we do have to have an A. Uh, yeah, for suppressor on that thing, so it hides the muscle flesh either way. Okay, my don't be twice and afterwards hit the dirt. Uh, we can't make this happen right because, yeah, okay, a trigger finger, well, then we just uh, shoot one bullet here, supposedly, at this torso, if we can manage. Ah, uh, this is yeah, a sandbag, so we had to pierce this thing, or the party, it worked out really hard, this was the same. Hey, not all at the same time? Oh, it's only three people, and he's wounded because I aim for the torso, not the head, but I didn't think any headshots would be yeah. possible with you anyway. Okay, so there are probably some people back here, but once in a while I find it pretty likely. So, but we don't have any cover, so we, the best thing we can do is go prone here and keep an eye on the other side here, I guess, for now. 
Jetzt ist der Protection könnte sie auf die Landmine going off und der Wuppi in Landmine ist doch eigentlich an der Route zerauf. Das ist ein Leid weh. So, der Kupis hat meine Mies back hier mit 100 Dome und die möchte knopf für die Dier mit die Kraftfahrt und Norf. Sims und Befried, Pippo und Toto. Und dann auch so keep die Rocket Launcher mit Kurs und die Action. Ja, okay, all of these people have shot essentially, except for uh, Haywire, so in terms of Return Fire, Blind Suppression Fire and whatnot. Warum well, doesn't leave too many options, so I think sure that's... Yeah, it's a little bit closer here, as best we can hope for right now. And don't catch a bullet to the face, because we need our heavy weapons operator. Ah, See? I what? I killed better guys than you. Oh, you have what to be scared with this. Oh, ah. I'm so fucking tired of this, I have no idea. <laughs> And we aim shooting with a uh, suppressed fire army, no? Oh, I'm so tired of this. I'm so fucking tired of this. So utterly goddamn fucking tired of this. Yeah, okay, suppression fire. Pin down. If we hit in the head, we also pin down. And we. I. Goddamn, can we have this? Why does this keep happening to us? Why? Why? We are prone, we have a fucking yeah, intermediate cartridge suppressor on this fucking thing. No one can see where the shot was coming from. No one. This is bullshit here, you know? I'm so tired to reload because it keeps happening to us over and 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 over again. I'm so goddamn done with this shit. What am I supposed to do with yes. even using Inspector Helmet? And Inspector Helmet has the highest coverage of all of these available in the game. I checked, it's 75%. And so you're telling me we get shot in the fucking face here? Again, by pressing our helmet, again, because it started out 94%, you know, after the disengagement, which uh, did absorb 1-9 by 18 slug, I believe. So the boss again completely bypassed our helmet from the side. Because while uh, facing the enemy doesn't make uh, difference here. Are you kidding me with this bullshit? Every single fucking time that happenings that keeps happening to us here. Every single oh, fucking time. I'm so utterly done with this shit here. You have no idea what's ever keeps happening. Uh, Ooh, composure. Okay, it happened. We move forward. So what can we do? How can we solve the situation? Of course, we have at least two more enemies back there. We have a tank, presumably. So ten enemies. So we can see exactly how many. Okay. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. So it's not all of them, obviously. How but we can see what I'm saying. So you are stuck here. And of course, back here, we have quite a few problems. Well, at least yeah. the Haver is looking in the correct direction, sort of, I guess. And the, this thing is ready. Well, that's great. Yeah. So, if you have any information, we'll probably open up on them right now. But we'll break right them with us because we're not going to shoot here, supposedly, anyway. But we could certainly make this happen. This thing is rather bulky as it think. Okay, well, we, um, then we find out who's over there together with that tank, presumably. So, hey, I can hopefully, uh, yeah, take them apart. That would not be a terrible thing, right? Okay, just have to make sure we can actually throw this thing because you're not a demolitions expert, of course. And afterwards, we have to hit the dirt here once again. Fantastic. So, uh, let's see. There must be over here some place that I would wager. Doesn't guarantee, but let's just find out. Brutal. We see someone right in front of us. Well, that's always good. But it was certainly not the one suppressing us with his AR, I guess. Or trying to or even inflict another fucking head injury. Yeah. So he's very close for comfort. That's a night fighting for you, I guess. And of course, with this guy, we'd have to change heading because we wouldn't send it for anything other. else, would we? Okay, hey, so Roto is supposed to far away after passing the. Yeah, make it just for your last turn. So uh, obviously, what can we do? Fantastic. I really love this. Do I have to emphasize the point here once again? Of course, you can't see a good thing even if we take off the nap. Yeah, the nap is not an asset if we are uh, throwing bright lights, of course. So we still cannot see because it's just plain to fall away. I don't fucking care. Here, get behind the uh, trees, have some decent protection, and then just the blast over there. Blind fire, for I do care. There we go. Another try here, and of course, it's uh, widely off target as you would think. Fantastic indeed. So, absolutely got them fantastic. Yeah. So, well, hey, why will also get a hit here if he stays because we have a muscle break on this thing, of course. Ready. And of course, these people, uh, we don't know where the storm gone went, and the presence of the second I'll tank is not uh, confirmed, but certainly possibilities. So, so uh, you also suppressed, of course, the one side of anything else. So, okay, you do have that stupid thing to move forward with this, even though it's unsuppressed. And then, what else can we do? Maybe we try to throw a Buster Gas Grenade on top of them. I mean, don't tell, but then they give you solid action points, and never mind in this case. Well, then we just try to bandage him before he gets completely taken apart. I mean, really? I don't think we have any defensive smoke grenades and any of our people, no, because there weren't any to pick it on the ground. Of course, as you would think. Well, then we at least try to extract ourselves here, because otherwise everyone in the battle gets suppressed. And, uh, well, what can you do? Well, um, I don't want to use our marksman in the melee role. It seems a little bit unnecessary. And, of course, he's in the smoke coverage. And, well, maybe we can take a uh, couple of people here. Maybe because we have to um, find out dirt a little bit, right? But uh, we also need to do something about him eventually. Or well, maybe it's uh, Haywire yeah. has to be brave here. Probably. 
Ready. Okay, äh, wir haben zum Super Bridge. End of the Tanks around die. Oh, it is just the driver cannot see. Also the gunner. I think it's just the. Uh, yeah. One guy here in the game. Okay, so a poor but doesn't have a weapon. So pretty good guy here. The gunner. The gunner. Nope, cannot make it happen. But obviously the light. So okay. Um, yeah. Then we just have to burst them down, I guess. And as a second, what around here, some place you don't know where exactly where is. And we cannot shoot and scoot here. We can whip out the machine pistol. Either weapon is unsuppressed, of course. Uh, wow, okay, we, wow, this thing is ready, but it's looking in the wrong direction, so this will be a move point anyway, so let's uh, find out what we can make happen with this thing here. Uh, wow, I'm not quite sure, man. But now we're going to stay here anyway, will we? So, okay, wow, we try to eliminate him with our machine pistol. Uh, wow, it was relatively decent, and we can at least change stance, and then probably also get shot in the face. Wow, I would like to at least, um, yeah. Get away here one time, presumably, so we are less likely to be shot upon. At least on our current position, that would be slow. So, once again, a fantastic engagement here already. Fuck! Yeah, probably back here, some place behind the red car. Oh. There's a barricade. <laughs> okay, hopefully, we'll be smart enough to stay away from the limited areas. And don't step on any additional landmines, would be even better. Yeah! I'm Mostly losing bleeding, did we expect anything less? Of course we did. At least we didn't lose any uh, wisdom. Also back here, that's a goddamn fucking idiot someplace. That's pretty likely. Okay, um, I'm not going to sure if the uh, soldiers are aware of their own land minefields. Uh, minefields, you know what I mean? Still so landmine, of course. Partner. Oh, wow, it's so fantastic Wee. indeed. Absolutely goddamn lovely. So these, yeah, they were trying to um, shoot in our yes. last known position. Yeah, that's bullshit. Uh, I've noticed this in this last campaign as well, that uh, if we have some uh, yeah, suppressors on our guns, even some flash suppressors could be used effectively because of the AI uh, changes because they just magically know your position anyhow. I think it's just observe where the bullets are coming from. The same thing we do. I guess, but it's, 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 I think it's a little unfair because if we go for all that effort to uh, put some decent muscle attachments on our rifles, they shouldn't be able to magically burst away our score and tie and you cannot expect us to shoot as good every single time because all the firearms are well, very slow to ready, especially in the whole folding stock. And we have uh, also, um, okay, camouflage probably doesn't apply, but isn't the darkness in the middle of the yeah. night? No, so what else here? I mean, what else can we supposed to be doing? Hey, what you need. Okay, so, well, fantastic. So there's a one guy back here we cannot really do anything about. Uh, yeah. We can lightly suppress, I guess it's an option. Then again, I'm also worried about the tank. At the moment, no one is ice there. Howdy, partner. At least we have the advantage of really? darkness and cover. Okay, everyone every, was completely suppressed from back here, of course. And uh, we don't know where the strong fellow went, probably at the back here someplace. So we have to spread out a little bit before uh, shit hits the fan here once again. Right, okay, so at least get off the way. So we're not uh, one big cluster here. That would not be a terrible Howdy, start. Partner. Okay, you are dying. Um, Scream is almost dying. And of course, he was suppressed again. His minus nine action points. You don't have any smoke grenades. So, okay, um... Of course, we are also suppressed because we are in one line, of course. So, rather, we have to do something back here. Yeah! Our well, behavior is to be brave and suppress this fucking guy with the AR there. Uh, could have even a drum magazine or something like this. I, I, don't, I don't think it's that likely to be frank. Okay, he's critical. He's still holding on to his piss, whatever it is. But we have to. Uh, yeah, okay, the ref's not ready anyway, or the machine pistol for that matter. Okay, this fucking guy is back here someplace. Uh, how can we make him visible? Woody! Man, this is horrible. Fucking, we have nowhere to go because we know this is uh, the enemy is once again uh, bottlenecked us here. You know, yeah, that's what, of course, uh, the defensive minefield is all about. So great. Well, at least we can change the other of the road, I suppose. Very carefully, because uh, yeah, calling on the ground takes tons of action. But yeah, we yeah. need to get away from this cluster here. We have to make sure we can actually, um, okay, probably take him out here if we can. Okay, that's what we can nice. yeah. wow. 170 pounds of raw fun. Yeah. Ha! Particular this type of fun about thing, right? We can least <laughs> it's good just a tiny bit yes. here, a tiny bit, and you can do anything. We cannot hey, smoke, so it will be up to yeah, Okay, if I need to spread the power, that's the thing, you know. So the moment I cannot see us up front, but we have three people. Uh okay, we've only one militia of guy up front. Of course, these people can see him, presumably, so there will be yeah, someone will take some shots at him, yeah, I guess. Okay, why well, we need to spread out a bit, that's not the alternative. So at least this portion we should be hey, moving on. And uh, what can you do with your shotgun? Very little. So well I think similarly because we threw some brake lights, of course, but we can get here and use our camouflage maybe for stepping on landmine because the other angle is completely saturated with our uh, mercenaries. At least the dirt for now and then we top of our shotgun, I guess. Should be able to make this happen no problem. <laughs> yeah, I can't even see this fucking guy. 
because the game doesn't allow me to change focus and uh, the, the strong one of course disappeared because no one was able to get any shots on him mm. and now all the friends they are walking through the limited area hey, what you okay need? so there was some point back there that was uh, just uh, I mean, yeah, me being unable to see there's somebody else back here someplace there's Howdy, a bit of absolute partner. certainty but we have no cover and there will be minefields Ready. around so if we illuminate him well we have to do is within the break like apparently and the text maybe can take him apart Howdy, here partner. maybe because the guy was shooting our militia friends and he has this I mean I don't trust this there will be minefield around here and since I didn't know that would have the tank the station this precise uh, yeah well, location really? you know I didn't bring the mine <laughs> detector with me foolishly and my detector even yeah also fantastic idiot fantastic absolutely got them fantastic yes. so we have exactly 33 action points so what can we do with that stuff we can uh, we start to manage our injuries not going to pain too much because of any smoke grenades of course at least you can do this from the prone stunts even though you're presenting a prone to the enemies right hey, now so it's not going to be super nice here but all the counts okay so we had the same machine pistol we're using on yeah paper. of course yeah we don't know about uh, enemies over there because i can't see a goddamn fucking thing you know so we have to uh, probably do what exactly um because this illuminated because of our own break lights and the militia of course walks right for that stuff here because there are green shots not well trained yes. i guess so once again a bullshit operation because of this fucking bypassing our armor nonsense since I really love this, partner. and we have nowhere to go because Ready. we don't have any uh, good equipment once again find ourselves a little bit short on all the stuff here essentially. Yeah, it's okay, uh, we need to see this guy, we need to fucking illuminate these people. So, uh, well, there's a minefield around, we know this, I'm not going to walk back there or race past here and we still have the other tank completely unknown, you know, so okay, they cannot see right now, so stand up and full on the brake lights, so we can see where the would-be assailants are stationed, probably back here some place, right? So it makes it of course so that we have uh, to advance past here. But I mean, the bomb we have one avenue, but it's against an enemy Position, so oh, if we can get a grenade shot, we'll be good start. But I know there's someone with a machine pistol back here. He's been taken care of. There he is, indeed. Fantastic. So we made us as useful. And now text can maybe roll over two tiles and then whip out his uh, rifle because of the hand cam, we're going to get anywhere. Okay, we try this and we don't roll on top of a landmine. Always nice because text are the smartest fellow. So we have to all ground here. And well, we can see them. Apparently, while well, we aim very free on burst, and we get one shot on target. Now he is a cow in fear, but then again, our position is known, even though we do happen to have a flash suppressor on the thing. Apparently, yeah, it simply doesn't matter what we want to do. And uh, we try to suppress the other guy back here. I'm not quite sure where he is because the game didn't allow me to even change focus. So, well, okay, then we burst away, I guess. And I could show that I have no idea. I just have to make some assumptions because the bullets that came from this area here, presumably. <laughs> yeah, somewhere back there. Hey, it's the best I can say here, really. And all the other tiles, of course, that now illuminated. Well, we can get a little bit close of our shotgun, I guess. So we have to at least get a couple of tiles here from the road as a precaution. And then. Yeah, okay, so we don't uh, get pinned down here entirely, and it leaves the uh, Gus getting his, uh, yeah, rocket launcher ready problem from this location. We have an ample spell of grenades granted, but where can make this thing useful from remains to be seen. Man, this is horrible. I really hate this fucking nonsense. <sighs> okay, let's just okay. advance our belly here because we should be able to take these lamp mines, I'm hoping. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Can, yeah, I can uh, even see the. What? I beg you. Fucking pardon. Uh, I can even see this shit, you know? And then we get uh, taken apart here once again. I mean, how. Uh, you lose blind fire as well, granted, but still, this is a little bit outlandish. I lose it myself. So we kill this fucking guy still around and uh, uh, yeah, no one was able to see him. And now we are down another mercenary here essentially. Yeah. Uh, for, ugh, I am so fucking done with this shit here. I'm utterly so fucking done with this bullshit. Woody. It's the same guy, no, because he was back here. This is where the, uh, okay, no, yeah, who can shoot? No one can shoot be right because the militia front is standing in front of us for the most part. Well, hey, why can't you fire? Yeah. And they were certainly not uh, focusing on you with your blind suppression uh, burst here, right? Well, let's take care of this fucking idiot in front. We cannot see him. It didn't matter because we still get some bullets on him. But now they have a focus fire, of course. And we also need to race over there and uh, bandage our hey, spot leader. Or with the light here. Well, I absolutely Wait. love this. I absolutely fucking love this. This is the best aspect about this game here. The best change they've ever made because the algorithm is just plain broken. The number of times they've taken headshots and uh, this has not uh, been absorbed in any capacity of whatsoever. Completely by pissing our helmet despite the crumbs of 65, uh, 70, and 75% percent uh, coverage respectively. That's just completely outlandish. And if, if you try to do the same to the enemies, obviously, well, it was. Yeah, yeah against the enemies, it's not really. It's, yeah, it's not, uh, 
the comparisons maybe uh, one and five times for those, and for us it's like uh, four out of five times. Probably slightly more even, for that matter. Howdy, partner. I'm really starting to lose fucking composure here, and we know this fucking idiot is still back there, but we cannot, because we have to now get over here and start bandaging our squad leader, so do well with the rifle and a bit of any different smoke grenades, so just start bandaging before he bleeds out once again, so down one boss Ready. once again. At least in this case it wasn't a second crippling head injury, but again, okay. So it is uh, someone around here. Yes, can we step on a lamp mine? It's very likely, but we don't have any cover. We cannot really advance anywhere. So let's just least get over this area here right. So we can spread out a little bit further. That would be swell. And then this guy, of course, we have failed to eliminate and he burst it back and killed another militia in the process. Hey, what Always at the light. But can do them for a shotgun. So, well, we have another brake light and this thing is useless without the launch, of course. No. Okay, well, let's see what we can accomplish here. It looks terrible. So, maybe the condition, maybe just lighting, who knows here. So, I think, yeah, this type would be important, but of course, you can see a good thing. Yeah, we need to do something. We need to get out of here. So, so there's no oh, death right right mine right here. So, get some cover here and then we look around. And of course, you can see a goddamn fucking thing. And it's basically useless. Okay, that's great. It's a good discovery. Well done with the red shotgun here. And then what can Gus do? Well, get some grenades in range. That would be a good start. You can certainly take some of those landmines. Well, so, well, you're an old man. You don't have the demolition straight. Uh, but we can maybe throw some grenades here once in a while. Uh, so, of course, you don't catch a bullet to the face. <laughs> Yeah, but is this guy? I can't even see it. Back here, behind the sandbags. The game doesn't even allow me to move the camera over there when they're shooting. Woody? Okay, so wow, uh, fantastic yep. indeed. Absolutely good and fantastic. So, um, wow, great. So, what can I say here, really? 15 out of 80. So, it's another, another so we have five effective mercenaries, and this guy will be still around someplace. We're not much absolute yeah. certainty. So, fantastic indeed. So, really? there's Razor. Razor does have uh, non additional equipment, I think. No, he doesn't. Of course, at least not yet. And we know there are some Lightmans around here. Wow, we need to uh, yeah, engage this enemy in some fashion or another. Now, we just have to hope for the best here, I guess. Is that they don't have lamp mine the entire area. Okay, well, uh, at least we are very aggressive, but we don't have much in the way of experience right now. So we can maybe keep a bit on this guy here in some capacity. Yeah. So the lab machine gun can keep busting away since we have now better information of where some people may be located. So this is, of course, yeah, changing heading stuff. Okay, we also need to move forward with satellite machine gun. And we happen to have only three bullets because we only have 20 round magazines. Now we start with this. And of course, My gun's feeling light. Yeah, it's feeling light, but I don't really care. Instead, we try to get more of the, out of the base. We don't get suppressed here again. That would be a swell idea. So then, well, they take a knee and they reload this rifle yes. once we have the opportunity. So you are I'll still be, bandaging. Partner. Yeah, fantastic, of course, in the middle of the road because there's nowhere else to go. Hey, what you need? So, we know there's someone back here. What can we do about him? Does he have a tank Woody? with him? We don't know. Could actually be the tank firing back. It's also an option, actually. Uh, not a very distinct option, but can happen. I'm not sure which weapon they would be using, uh, to be frank. Okay, well, um... Hey, what you need? We can't see anything, so what gives, I guess. Uh, we don't want to eliminate anything else right now, because we need to advance through here. And some capacity, but we know there's someone right at this corner Woody. right there, no? So, what can you do here set up? What's the grenade angle? We don't want the full fragments in our militia friends, of course. Uh, but we have uh, quite a few of those here around. Oh, if we can force him to reposition, of course, it's too heavy for you. Yeah, of course it is. So, that means we can't advance anywhere right now. This is the latest grenade. We have it out of I think it is because the 30 or damage stuff. Well, but this thing is very light as some we can throw, but then again, looking at the same problem as before. Maybe Ruto can then actually see him, but we don't want to work with this trick here all the time because it's not to our advantage here, of course. Well, so uh, I have actually uh, swapped out the muscle break for a flash suppressor, so maybe we can keep him suppressed so our militia friends can move up. It's not a terrible idea. Well, okay, uh, sh sure, what if suppress us if we just uh, stand here? And of course, we're standing here now anyway, because despite being experienced level 8, and now we have bursted away our complete complement hey, of uh, AP is always good, right? Okay, that will be focusing back here. We can only hope that the trees provide some sort of protection. And uh, shooting with this thing here is a waste of time, also a waste of ammo, frankly speaking. Yeah, great indeed. So, well, uh, we know there are some lapments around, but we just try to get to the other side of our shotgun. That could be a thing. Okay, let's make this happen. Here, we're stepping on a landmine, and there's of course the equipment drop by our uh, ally here. Alrighty then. Well, after he is running around, I think we don't care. We need to spread out so we don't get suppressed uh, multiple times here. Okay, well, yes. then we just use another regeneration booster, I guess. Well, not until we have at least healed a little bit here. Otherwise, it would be waste. Uh. Sound like a 5x6 firearm, to be frank. So, I mean, uh. let's see. That's what I thought. Yeah, you have a sighting because we're not exactly. Uh. Uh. 
But they have to be right on top of them to actually see a goddamn thing. Apparently, wow, it's okay. The other guys back here, you know, it's absolutely yeah, certainly only get uh, someone in grenade range, and there could be someone else hiding back here, of course. Something else to keep in mind. We shouldn't get, um, yeah, we shouldn't develop tunnel vision, essentially. There could be around if you don't know, so uh, put on your uh, goddamn um, goggles again. And it gives us two tiles here, but only in the darkness, of course. And there's also the great condition. So I guess, I guess yes. now we can be, yeah, we need to do this here. Cool. Use the regeneration booster. And we only two of these here. And the other guy is in the back some place. We saw him briefly, but Reza didn't see. Yeah. And uh, we just find it really? yeah, yeah, interrupt here, of course. Wow, uh, it's okay. Then be carefully. Advance slightly further. So if he's back here, maybe set him focus. But before we try to action post, we can ever uh, offer any resistance here anyhow. Right? So we'll take another shot to the simulation fellow here. This uh, yeah. probably on target. So first things first, we reload that goddamn rifle of ours here, which is not very useful in the dark, evidently, because we're fighting some needs I would wager. Well, I don't want to uh, set this down in the middle of the uh, wooden patch here, right? so instead we just try to find this one in the if we have some better cover, so we know there's a guy back here, uh, they know where we are exactly, uh, yeah, but think, well, you have this thing ready to fight and we keep suppressing this area and hope for some results eventually. Even though most of the bullets will be absorbed by the sandbags, of course, you're still busy bandaging and you are watching your flank. Let's see him. Hey, so mean? we took 60 militia with us, and once all is said and done, we maybe took two people. <sighs> oh man, this is horrendous. Yes. Absolutely horrendous. So I'm trying to yeah. do this uh, again here, and we still end up uh, yeah, getting the short end of the stick here. Unbelievable. Yes. So, well, we have this guy. Yeah, this is a tank. Is it a, this is a fucking soldier? It will sound like a 556 fire arm, but it, yeah, how can they uh, always be aware of our precise positions all the time? I find it uh, very much debatable. Really? No? Okay, so, um, hey, yeah, I'm need? trying to keep my composure here. Yeah, okay, so, then we can assume that there's no one right to our um, immediate flank here, but flank, at least until the reinforcements arrive, and even flight mission goggles. Of course, we cannot see anything as if it was yeah, yeah, expect here, and I can see absolutely nothing. Matter of fact, and uh, okay, apparently there was a tank firing the entire duration, which is also explain uh, why we were seeing the location from back here. So they have two tanks around, okay, so this was uh, also explain the damage and, and scheme. Of course, yeah, then again, the tank can also uh, suppress blindly because it used the same, <laughs> it's essentially just the um, soldier with a, a specific profile. Okay, we know it's a tank around, so good thing that re it blindly over there, right? Okay, so this information, um, they should probably using this rocket launcher then, I guess. Uh, so, okay, well, would need to be a little bit closer than this. And at the moment, uh, the line of fire seems to be very obstructed. Sure thing! Maybe next time we can make this happen without ending up in someone's crossfire here. Okay, we need to shoot uh, through the gap in the, uh, yeah, probably here. So it's hit the door. Hopefully, we have enough action points next time to make us useful. And only this guy with the, uh, hey, was it again? Know? Yeah. I think that in uh, Machine Pistol 9 by 19 or something like this. Okay, uh, the turret swings around, but they'll be seeing us probably pretty likely. So we just give some room here. Well, whatever yes. it's worth. Okay, and uh, fantastic indeed. So great. How do you, partner? Absolutely fantastic. So it's exactly what we needed, but I don't have to beat myself. And you've been a terrible medic. We used up most of our uh, kit here, of course. Well, then put on all uh, these things here. And then we try to get to this area, maybe, presumably, because the tank cannot see. And the other guy, we need to flush out some capacity. So the sandbags are here someplace, right? So we should be able to get, this, uh, get through here. Or stepping on another landmine, that would be swell. So we have some protection from the tank, they cannot fire back. Yeah, probably. Okay, uh, let's just see, we can go all the way here because there won't be any landmines behind their own sandbag fortifications, I would think, right? Presumably. Really? So Vaser keeps a sharp beat here with a shotgun. We don't want to get any closer, but they would just open fire on the military front because they know they're here, right? So how can we flush them out? No, not really, we don't, uh, okay, I suppose. Uh, what's more uh, valuable to us right now? The shotgun being ready with a focus or the grenade? I think the grenade is the obvious answer, right? Because it turns out we're we'll getting interrupted anyway. Okay, let's throw it into the darkness. I'm not going to remember where it came from, probably from back here someplace. So, of course, we can even get it back on target. And since we're not a demolition expert, we can't really do anything else except to observe. Oh, maybe we can interrupt if this guy comes around here, but it's not that we can. Well, we could maybe hip fire, but then again, the reflex that doesn't work if you're hip yeah. firing, right? Okay, then uh, you will just. Well, you cannot suppress because the militia friend in front of you, but can least ready that thing in anticipation that if this guy comes around, then we hopefully have a beat on them before. Really? Yeah. Yes. Suffering an additional casualties. And speaking of additional casualties, I think a screen will just. Uh, yeah. Crawl back here a little bit. Uh, yeah. This was obviously the cannon being fired. And the tank can actually move. Ready. Obviously good. Okay, that's the poor fellow. Was the same one. I'm not quite sure. Hopefully you can put a stuck in his torso then. That would be swell. 
No, even that's something we uh, say utterly at, obviously. Russian fire, so the Bishop party couldn't see. Uh, that's our frag grenade going off. Always nice. So that's uh, okay. Two people with so one tank at this guy. So are you telling me there's a grand with his machine pistol was taking our militia apart because they were to super stand uh, away from the Illuminated. Yeah, right over here. Take him out. There we go. Ooh, yeah. yeah, I will be regretting coming to this goddamn fucking sector. Okay, so um, I don't think we have much in the way of militia left. Okay, the tank actually move. Uh, that's great. Why is it not? But now it's looking in our direction. So Woody. let's see if Assassin could uh, beat on him. Uh, or it here or whatever. Okay, it's probably a little bit strange looking. Well, uh, I suppose to save the game in case... Okay, the militia are completely blown apart here, of course. That's what you're uh, getting here, I guess. Okay, so, um... Uh, I'm not quite sure how we can hit anything from back here, but if the tank is capable of moving around, obviously then, uh, yeah, you also a little bit of a pickle, aren't you? Then again, we only have like uh, one additional rockets, also in Rutok, incidentally. Hey, what you need? Oh. Well, you're providing uh, well, intelligence, I guess. They can also get uh, interrupts by sound, presumably, I would think. Okay, we pull back Wee! slightly further back, and uh, if you think you can hit this, I mean, if I don't want to move right on top of this thing, but maybe some emulation would be a better idea. Hey, what you need? Uh, maybe it would be. We don't need the tank, so Gus can actually see. Uh, do you have some break that's left? I think we have exactly one remaining. I think we try this here next turn for the extra points. I mean, uh, we can't really this thing right. No, we cannot. So we can set the focus with you, incidentally. Well, I think it's a better idea because blind shot, we don't have the audience to yeah. miss, if I'm speaking, but there aren't that many things around in this version, uh, at least in the Rufo stock, I think. Or, in the Rufo stock, of course, I mean, open care. So I'm very concerned about what just went down here, so. Um, now of course the other people are completely useless because it's a tank, uh, but there could be some reinforcements coming in, so we at least uh, protect against this possibility, uh -huh. I guess. Yeah, I think the tank will remain burning for a couple of in-game days until it goes away, so oh, the reinforcements partner. arrive. I'm not quite sure where they will be coming from, but it will be uh, from some place presumably around these parts here, and we are severely depleted, and uh, well, until the tank wakes up with a wave with the militia, also won't be replacing these here, I believe. Really? Okay, maybe some people behind it as a consequence. We're going to open with that uh, shotgun, at least for the other couple of shots there, I guess. The opening volley, not yes. so much, and, uh, well, great, fantastic indeed. So then we wait until the regeneration booster is kicked in, and then we need to take the second one as well, presumably. That seems to be pretty light, but for now we know it's the... Yeah, I think we just lay here, because the tank is not going to suppress us, I would wager. Howdy, partner! Yeah, uh, don't move in all the tanks, you idiots. It's also why the uh, militia uh, should not be able hey, I mean, left behind when it comes to their... <laughs> yeah, because they're completely incapable of handling these tanks by the way, even the combat cars from what I've read. So that's why we should be doing this ourselves for the most part. And speaking of doing things ourselves, well, it doesn't need to be directly on target, just not directly in front of us. Uh, can you actually throw this thing here like he ordered you to? Okay, but now Gus can see, Woody. yes, indeed, that's what uh, I hey, thought, well, um, I think all of the militia fronts is still far enough away to make this not an issue, since we uh, can actually see, we should be able to get this on target, with good uh, accuracy and also damage, well, uh, I think we stand up, we can only fight this from the standing stance anyway, it looks a bit strange, hopefully it, we don't impact the sandbags because of this bullshit. Was this on target? Of course it's a thermal barrack rocket, well that's great, but now the tank can also cannot see in return, right? So that was, yeah, I don't have any other uh, anti tank uh, rockets or anyone else on the squad here, right? No, we do not, of course. So that means, uh, well, we have anti tank grenades, I guess. So I thought we would be wrapping up this uh, soon, but apparently we only knocked down a couple of health points. Well, then we try to put really? these anti tank grenades to good use, and you have whopping four of them. Well, then we try to get them in range, I guess, and be brave and all. So I'm not sure where the tank will be shooting us from, I have no idea, but they cannot see us from back here, but we shouldn't get too cocky, because Howdy, the reinforcements partner. certainly have been caught in, yes, okay, yes. we have 60 natural action points, and the reiteration boost is the walking, I think we also need to get ourselves a little bit closer, and after all, just our squad leader bonuses, as bad as it is right now. Howdy, okay, there are some people around, we know it's up to certainty, if they call the reinforcements, and normally the tank with our flashlight doesn't do anything, and if we know the enemies, from where should we do this from, probably from behind the sandbags, right? Probably, or there's a pile of rubble. Well, if only I can see anything on my screen, but of course I cannot. And we don't know how many enemies will be responding. Uh, all of them. Okay, that could also be the answer. So, um, sure, great. And uh, what is this? Once again, it doesn't mean anything. So, with one tank and 19 enemy soldiers, and we have how many militia with us? Because we lost, uh, so, I think we brought 16, and now we have 11, I believe. Well, great. So, it will be a back-to-back -back fighting here with the tanks to an effect. So, next uh, time around, well, uh, we probably just pass hey, the second rocket in the route and try to finish the job with the um, anti-tank grenades. Either way, it would be uh, worth of investigation. So, what can we do? 
And we can illuminate this right now, but the enemies will probably couple turns uh, further away. But uh, as a reminder, illuminating them will also illuminate ourselves, you know. So that gives a guess. Well, at least then we ready the rifle in anticipation for any and additional context right in front of us. And there will be plenty. And there will be suppressing us. And it's only one headshot away from disaster here once yeah. again. Yeah, especially for you. Well, uh, we can shoot through there, I guess, if we need to. Oh, okay, I'm not quite sure where the enemies will come from. Absolutely zero idea. And since I cannot see anything in the darkness, I also cannot come up with any good cover positions. But I don't think they had yeah, that many rounds here. Supposedly, we just have to try to limit our angles. Somehow. And somewhere. Well, I think we go here for now. Maybe. Oh. What's the problem now, game? I didn't click on any invalid tiles here, you doofus. Okay, so apparently from the rockets not very effective against these combat tanks. Uh, to the rest of no one. But of course we had only one AT launcher uh, with us right now. So that gives I guess, but I don't think there should be any tanks in the immediate vicinity. But since uh, well, it has been a long time since we played our um, first open chaos campaign, I did not remember that these yeah, tanks would be located in this precise sector. So that gives I guess. Okay, so, well, uh, I'm not going to we can shoot past the sandbags from this tire. So, find out momentarily, I would think, right? And we are down three bullets and our machine pistol side, I might guess. Uh, I do remember, well, it's a good start here, but hopefully we can get at least uh, the end of tank grenades on the air on yeah, target here. What's that sound? That sounds strange. Is the tank burning? I'm making. <laughs> I think the tank's actually. Even Making these noises. I think it is right. Okay, so, uh, well, it can shoot if it can see, but at the moment it cannot see, which yeah. is yeah, something, I guess. Well, but neither are we in position really? before any, any tank grenades. So I think it takes, uh, yeah. Is the tank actually taking damage from the rocket? I don't think it is right. Uh, I mean, not the rocket, the uh, wall of flame we made. Well, it's a bit concerning because this thing is probably fully combat and effective, uh, fully effective still, I should say. And it's also moving around, so that means Wait. it can move against uh, all of our friends. Okay, well, um. Yeah, okay, well, hopefully we, we can reload this thing. I'm not quite sure we can, but uh, let's just pass the rocket before the enemies arrive and get over here, which will be only. Probably just uh, right in front of us, or almost, right? Okay, so hand the rocket to him, please. Probably cannot fight. What, what do you mean? Oh, fuck's sake. What he? Doesn't go here, right? Okay, can you put this stuff back there? Imagine hey, playing this with, uh, yeah, AP uh, requirements for item man manipulation enabled. That would be uh, horrible. Absolutely tedious. Okay, so fantastic. Uh, you have lost yourself that fucking thing here. Now we can reload, yes? It takes us uh, how many action points? It's a free action, supposedly. Well, that's nice. Uh, okay, we can still see the goddamn tank, I guess. We just have to look around and then up what? Could we, yeah, we can use component, I'm hoping. Was this thing has to be uh, yeah, yeah, done away with. with. <laughs> okay, so well, um, sure, we should at least get a little bit away so we don't attract any fire here, I guess. Then we take a knee and then we just uh, fight that thing. Afterwards, we shoot and scoot if we can manage. I mean, we can, but hopefully, two uh, rockets will be taken care of this goddamn thing here because the anti-tank grenades at least two effective turns away. If it fails, then we have to fall back to this anyway. Is it destroyed? Is it gone? Was the dope is so round? So great. So we. <laughs> okay, is it a dirty? Because we can do anything else, and this thing is not disposable. So we're holding on to this for now, I guess. Okay, fantastic deed. So this uh, was uh, two direct hits on target. And the tank is still combat effective because we have shooting interpersonal ordnance against the one better tank, yes. I guess. So something like this. Okay, so, uh, sure. Why don't we end this where we're coming from? And I don't want to step in front of the tank here, of course. Really? So let's check with the range on that and the tank grenade of ours here. It's probably pitiful. Especially without the demolition straight. That's what I thought. So we have to be right over here, which is just probably slightly too hot, I would think. Uh, this thing is also hot, but it's a wreck, so... Okay, we're going to pack ourselves here, and of course, we, well, we can throw it over the terrain here, so it's not yes. extend, but it's not that terrible. Okay, uh, sure, then we should probably putting our our night vision goggles here once again, and try to get in position for the reinforcements, which will be arriving here in no time whatsoever. We just have to plug all of the gaps here in our lines, and also wait for the uh, regeneration booster to uh, oh, yeah, be applying itself, so we can yeah. uh, use the same one, or the second one, I guess. Okay, maybe we keep ourselves back here. Ah, uh, well, okay. Can we actually shoot around that way? I'm not quite sure, because the enemies will also be in this area. They probably are over there already, right? So, I would think at least we probably should change heading. Ah, uh, then we can maybe, yeah, probably stay behind the sandbags, but at least ready that thing here with a full magazine. And then we maybe illuminate this area. Uh, assuming, of course, our militia oh, is not exactly really? in the right now. Okay, well, we need to get closer to throw anything, but I cannot see anything that would be somewhat safe. -ish. So, but we're wasting so many action points. Can we go here? I mean, the militia cannot see this tank, right? So, chances are we cannot be seen either if we move up because of all the uh, flame and smoke. Then again, we're stuck back here. We have to stand up, and the enemies are probably right in front of us. It would be way too risky. 
Yeah, probably. So we all download what's there, essentially. I heard the smoke grenade somewhere. Really? Yeah, the tank is actually groaning in pain. Well, isn't that great? So, uh, okay, well, where does the smoke grenade uh, or some grenade came from? I have no idea. Sometimes they also go off with their damage by ex nearby explosives, I think. But it's interesting, but also rather worrying. Maybe they stepped on a lab mine here uh, in the pond someplace or so next to a pond. I do not know. Okay, yes. well, it's then gas mine time for us, but uh, we have to make a choice. Is it useful? Yes. So maybe we have to delay this here for uh, one turn, I guess, until we actually have some idea of where the enemies will be uh, located. Okay, well, uh, I have no idea. We have absolutely zero idea, and you're telling me we still have like. Uh, 90 LP to worry about, so without any grenades, nothing's going to happen. And we need these enter tank grenades because the fragmentation hand grenades, they are for all intents and purposes completely useless, right? I guess the tank at least. So, well, we, are, we, can, we, have, we have to do this, we have to get in range, we have to be brave, we have to use our enter tank grenades without getting ourselves killed. So, how can we make this happen? Remains to be seen. Okay. Uh, oh man, I'm really fucking tired of this. Ha, <laughs> it's just throwing so many middle fingers in my face and disengagement alone, or the couple of the previous ones, of course. So we have uh, barely any action points on Scream, and you need the other regeneration booster, and we don't have that many to begin with, right? But these VDR really are our six uh, remaining combat effective people. Like, at all, uh, out of uh, 27, or whatever the number of our roster is right now. Yeah, something like this, if you want to believe this. Yeah, what's the problem? I can move there, it's highlighted as a valid, don't give me that fucking bullshit your game. Okay, where are the enemies? Uh, we heard the grenade someplace, and they will be coming in, uh, probably on the road, uh, presumably one. Since we cannot see, and they probably have at least a couple of elites around, because it's a patrol blocking the way to the capital of this country. Oh, that means uh, they will probably be bursting away from very far away, and that's only one headshot away from this Astia. One second. Okay, I can move there, game. Yes, I can move here. Yes, okay, no. Are you stuck there? I think uh, Reza might actually be stuck there. That's <laughs> well, hopefully not because uh, this is a valid tie I'm hoping. Well, uh, how can I maneuver them into uh, an invalid position to begin with? That is a little bit peculiar. To put it mildly. So what do we do to the other angle? I mean, they could certainly come through here since it's actually a wooded patch and uh, not a point as I thought. Okay, we are not stuck, well, that's something, but it still doesn't allow us to get any uh, favorable positions of the deal here. Uh, great. Okay, let's see about the range. Ach, it's absolutely pitiful. We have to be right on top of the tank to actually throw these because and the tank grenades they are suicidal. They were in World War II and they still remain that way, right? Okay, so and, uh, okay, we have to go here for now, hope for the best. Okay, uh, if, if it moves forward, okay. I can see us behind the sandbags of hoping at least because we have to be here to actually throw these sand grenades, but it's uh, we are very, very close in person now. Extremely close to us now. So, uh, can we pout this thing with a couple of other uh, pieces of ordnance? I mean, obviously, these tiny fragmentation grenades have won't be a waste of ammo. And the tank still. Are you telling me this was directly on target and we didn't inflict any damage? Well, it is a chance based. Hey, yeah, so, okay, it's obviously not a lot of tanks or anything remotely advanced like this. Okay, so, um, then we can just getting some bit on the reinforcements then. Uh, but from where remains to be seen. So, we don't have any cover, we don't have any. Yeah, well, we have some concealment, but we don't know about the uh, area back here. But this is better than, uh, well, the other area, presumably, right in the middle here. I mean, uh, we should be able to detect some landmines, at least I'm hoping. And we don't need to be uh, spreading out too far here, I guess. Okay, we try this, our we put our trust in this. And thankfully, didn't stop, uh, yeah, to step on top of the landmine here, whatever. Now keep a low with profile, I'm hoping that we ready our shotgun, uh, which is exactly one action point of view. Really? And the gas being our heavy weapons operator, wow, well, unfortunately we don't have any other ordnance. So, what gives, I guess? Yeah, where can we go without getting ourselves killed? Wow, well, um. Okay, well, first of all, we need some concealment, so get behind the bush, please. So, then we hit the door, and then we. I'm not quite sure what we could be doing, except to uh, keep the enemies at base. Yes. Okay, a scream is, uh, where exactly? And we can go flash 50 sandbags from this tile, of it's good. Oh. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, man. We just need to use our ears here and hope for some decent results. Ready that, uh, yeah, AR of yours. Oh, okay, so thanks, kids, Overwatch. I mean, where are they? We don't know absolutely zero idea as a matter of fact. So then, scream, look to this direction and you will look here. Maybe use our ears once in a while to uh, hear the enemies yeah. coming. Maybe? What else can I be saying here? And I guess they want to get a piece of razor. We put the focus right on the other side of the sandbags. Hopefully. I think the tank, yeah, because the tank is allowed to move, and now all these sectors they are designed with this in mind is also causing some issues, as you can tell. Well, so we need at least the free enter tank running some advantage and have to be right on target to get anything done. 
That's the kind of concerning, is it not? Yeah, because the tank is just trying to take its turn right now. Okay, wow. Yeah, we go. Okay, so there's a one out of 19, I think. Yeah, of course it is. And we don't know about their composition, but this was, uh, wow, of course you can't do anything about this. Maybe uh, move the focus to the other side as a consequence. I mean, we don't set up focus at all, right? Or, I mean, how close can they get? We don't know. We don't want to use our flashlight right now, incidentally. What was that? Okay, uh, southwest. <coughs> southwest, okay, someone here. Then maybe. Okay, they can see apparently something we cannot. My vision should actually be shared, so I'm not quite sure what the deal is in this case. Okay, so that means Razor Ray. has uh, quite a few things to worry about, and he's still outside of grenade range. I think is uh, not taking damage, but also cannot see. That's a bit concerning. Okay, so yes. uh, for the game, we have 42 natural action points right now. What can we do with 42 natural action points? Nothing really. But we can smoke ourselves, because in that we have a, to have a two smoke grenades. Well, there are some in front of us, Grant, that we know up to certainty, but do we want to activate the flashlight right now to find out? Yeah! I mean, it would be of a great asset to uh, Haywire, presumably. And you heard a sound uh, of movement to the southwest someplace, right? I don't misremember this, right? So scream has a sound of from southwest, so that must be in this in general vicinity already unsurprisingly trying to flank us from some place. Yes. Well if we smoke this air uh, I mean uh, smoke of course. If we limit this area, would this be of an asset or liability right now? As you can see the other um break lights they have been done away with already because of the changes in which I think uh, offers slightly better balance because uh, with 35 duration we would be unable to go like it all for the rest of the engagement hey, as you've seen in the previous episodes. Okay, we need to take out the bottom tank. Yeah, that's of uh, paramount importance because we do not have any protection from this side presumably. And evidently for that okay, how many people yes. are around here? We don't know for absolutely zero idea, yeah. but it's too wide. At least two. And you cannot shoot him. Like I'm gonna hit that from here. Maybe, I thought you could, but of course you cannot. And then the tank will also be using hey, his um, yeah, turret mounted machine gun to blast the of people. Yeah, you can see something, but uh, only the tank, which is not a great uh, I, yeah, idea to open up right now, but think. But we can throw some grenades, maybe, the lighter ones, to flush them out. Just a matter of getting close enough not to uh, stop. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, this is concealment, the tree is not so great in terms of concealment, so... Hey, what you need? Uh, okay, I'm sure he didn't hear any sound of movement, right? No, he did not, but okay, we need to protect this flank here without stepping onto them, and it would be swell, so is there someone else around, how late is it? We do not know. But then again, without the tank being in a gunner, it's actually... Yeah, why are illuminated? This is a... 50, why is that, or... Why is there 50 brightness on this tire? Oh no, I tell me this one of those goddamn bugs. Yeah, if we uh, throw a brake light, maybe we crack it. And then sometimes the light source stays with us for the rest of the fight. So the game is going over here once again because we have 50% brightness on this tire. And we can be seen, and that means, of course, yeah, so. Ha! <sighs> oh. I don't think this can be done away with by reloading the save file. I think it's permanent for the rest of the engagement. We try this and next time around here. I guess we will begin go prone with the visible because this now we have an inherent brightness of 50. Do I need to say anything else? No, I do not write notes of the tank looking around to see us. About for the great. Okay, so fantastic indeed. Yeah. But obviously in this case I won't be reloading because it's a game breaking bug essentially. Yes. Yeah, okay, we can't do anything here. 42 action points. We cannot do a whole damn thing here. Howdy, so, well, what, what can we do? Ray. We need to take out this tank. We need to take out these people. We can do one of these things with the other tank grenade, but need to preserve those for the other fights, right? Against the tank itself, which we cannot get over the um, debris anyway because it's like here standing up and the more we cannot stand up like at all. So, the best we can do is to offer some other opportunities, maybe for some master gas on top of the formation. It could be a thing, but then the game should probably put it on our own gas machine as a consequence. Okay, so we know there are two people back there. Can they see us if we stand up? I don't know. So we try to pull this from the crowd stance. Crap! Uh, well, you can see. Uh, of course, you can see us. Also, their fault. So, well, uh, we want to force them to reposition, but both these things would achieve. Uh, no, maybe not. Okay, he has no gas mask, but of doesn't mean that the other guys they don't have anything around here. But we can throw up a defensive smoke screen, I guess. Also, the, that defense, we know what I mean, so at least the one target is, yeah, okay, wow, well, now we are invisible, I should say. Yeah. And the behavior can take care of some people here to the other side here, presumably. I mean, we give away our position and scream heard the sound of movement to the southwest, so there must be in this area guaranteed. But we have some protection, uh, two lines of sandbags, and there's also direct tank around, so maybe we can open up, maybe, with you at least, because we want to keep these people pinned down and the master gas to be not. Oh, okay, well, we got some result out of it, but apparently you thought we can't hit this. Uh, evidently we can. Okay, now opposition is known. 
At least one guy is dead, so we're still looking at the one tank and the 70 people, I would think. Wow, great, so they have an overcut out for yep. us. Oh, okay, wow, well, you can get shot in the head, you accidentally once again, presumably, that can happen. Okay, uh, what can we do? We can't throw anything, we have to wait for the booster, so apparently we can make anything happen, just to wait here, I guess. I mean, we are completely combat ineffective, essentially. And I think the guy suppressing us was the tank, shooting us in the head. Because apparently there's a medium machine gun inside the turret, unsurprisingly. Oh, then we try to refill our stamina at least here. So we have more action points and also need to take the other regeneration booster, presumably. Okay, we know the people around back here in this process area. I'm not quite sure how far away Scream can hear, being a squiddy and also Night of Specialist. The could have been on the road here, we do not know. But southwest, it's, it's certainly not that, right? Because southeast here. Uh, also, of course, the Esmond Pacific doesn't screw with me right now. This will get them killed, I just know it. So, <laughs> I don't think we can do anything except to uh, retreat. I don't think something we can fix by reloading. Probably not. Okay, wow, well, great. So, uh, one more obstruction we need to overcome here uh, somehow. Yeah, the, we cannot move on to the tank is gone. We just cannot. Uh, we, maybe we can move around, find out if we cannot do anything on the other side because this doesn't seem to be often as it is precise okay. point in time since we are out of uh, yeah, okay. rockets like in its entirety. We don't have anything else. So we try sure to help out our guys behind the sandbags. Oh. Ah. Oh. See? 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 <laughs> well, tank is burning, but taking any damage, but we are taking damage because we have this. Okay, you know, but I would just save the game here in a temporary slot and then try to reload it. I don't think we actually fix our problem, so instead we have another boss like down effectively because we are running around with an inherent 50% uh, brightness, you know, or with the light. Okay, so we save the game. Then we. I know, control the slot from the Geoscape and I'm back into our tactical battle mode as we do away with the uh, in, yeah, inherent light source we have uh, yeah, received here for whatever reason. Yeah, that's a good tip, but of course I was well aware of that already. There, thank you, game. Okay, so, uh, there we go. And now we're hidden. Hey, what you so, need? it has been done away with, but of course not uh, until we've taken some damage. So, there's at least one guy around. And no one can see, uh, evidently, because I'm not quite sure why. Well, we can at least get some slightly better cover, I suppose. But then again, our shotguns also, uh, yeah, doesn't have any muscle attachments, of course, as a reminder. So, okay, um, of course we didn't hear them for whatever reason. So... Der Bypass der Old Mine fit, ja, I guess. Okay, wow. Du hast eine Zeitarm und die Shotgun ist relativ uh, slow, weil, bei all accounts. Ja, yeah, you're not very useful, even though you also have the night ops traits. And also stealthy, incidentally, but it wasn't of any. Wow, this taking I'm thing, yeah, right. because I still got them no action points all the good time here, so we we'll just have to. Hopefully, we can. Yeah, hope that we can make something happen here next turn. So, 21 action points, and we have to take out this guy together with our militia friend, who will probably Ready. get eliminated. But this got. Uh, yeah, this got to be taken care of, right? So, okay, we have the tank. So, it's a uh, bullshit number of uh, enemies in the sector. So, 18, we know where. One is, so still 16, uh, unaccounted for some place. Oh, it's good. So, okay, we need to take out this kind of Ready. tank. I think it's uh, back here right now. Yeah, I think it is. So, okay, we need to suppress first. And we didn't hear or see anyone else. Okay, we just have to wrestle that up. Do we see anyone? They have night vision goggles. Uh, we do not. So, but we need to get the enter tank grenades on target. And we have a stack of four of these. Well, we have to hope that because uh, there's a bit detonator. Yes, I think. So, uh, it should be snapping to the tank here, presumably. Yeah, no one can see because the tank is inside the smoke coverage, but we only have four grenades, and if we can take out the tank with that, then it's good nice for us. So this is maximum range, that's not the really thing snapping to this vehicle. No, it's not, but it was over here, was it? Yeah, okay, well, we need a better vantage point, we need to get this thing on target, but how can we make this happen? Just have to be brave. Jump this thing here, okay, and then now we are, okay, we cannot take it by now, because obviously... Yeah, but well, would uh, one enter tank grenade take out this uh, Vigo? Do we know this option certainty? We have 45 action points, or 46 even, so I don't think we can, so we have to wait until next turn and hope that the uh, headshot in front of us will provide a good protection from this angle and the other one as well, so slightly better than it was before, but it's also How extremely the risky, uh, that was usually assigned to suicide squads fight by the uh, Soviet army. <laughs> yeah, but for this precise reason, because it's yes. the, the just suicidal. Okay, now we have 66 natural action points. Uh, we didn't hear or see anyone, so okay, uh, we ask us Tabos, because he happened to have some grenades we could be throwing in this engagement. Yeah, don't get too close to the barbed wire, because incidentally, yeah, let's just see, we have some items on the ground, is there a rocket launcher among them? I don't think so, because no one should have this stuff right now, yeah, except for over the scarlet one, of course. Well, you can't really complain about action in this engagement, can you? Yeah, of course, we should be uh, getting flushed with the sandbags and also uh, we are changing our stunts, which can make happen. So, just take an intermediate step here and hope that we can get in range. So, we have uh, two, uh, three, 
Auf jeden Fall, ich habe los with us right now. For the most part. Yes, I need to be able to flank the enemy. Uh, take away some focus from um, Razor to be specific. So then we activate the flashlight, I guess. I mean, yeah. Hayfire's position is known, right? Do do we want to take this, so we want to activate this right now. I think we should. Unfortunately, it's not. Uh, yeah, we don't have an alles lang bereit. So we have to uh, use our um, revolver here one hand, which is a problem because we are an expert gunslinger. So supposedly, we activate the flashlight. Okay, we no want to immediate front, but then again, we can barely see anything, supposedly. If you look to this area, uh, I think it's bullshit, right? Okay, we stand up, make us even more visible. So, I'm going to what is in front of us that we cannot see. Then we take a uh, 360 security type of affair here, eliminating our allies as well. So, okay, um, there must be a key that you cannot see a goddamn thing. That's obviously the light. Wow, great, then it uh, was uh, making us extremely exposed here, right? For no good reason, essentially. Now, Great, okay, uh, well, I don't want to step forward right away, but since we just made our position known, maybe it uh, should be scooting a little bit, right? Probably. Yeah, this is switch, okay, I'm not sure where they will be coming from, but you can be our mobile break light, so to speak, yes. and Scream was certainly visible, and Scream is severely injured, and yeah. uh, Hayfire, yeah, well, I think there's some targets back there, yes. but I think you should just hit the door, because you can't achieve a goddamn thing anyhow, and you just wait until the energy booster has done some work. Yeah, could have thrown a grenade, but now it's too late. Yeah. Not? Okay, well, we, yeah, we know there's some people back there. We know it's absolutely certain. So some fine airfire, maybe. And then afterwards, you have to reload anyway. My okay. gun's feeling yeah. light. Light again, because we are shooting. Yeah, of course, we cannot even reload this thing. But isn't that great? So where can we be going? Uh, we can't even side room or anywhere. So I guess, I guess. Woody. Stick. Yes. I heard something unfriendly sounding. What was that? Yes, yeah, so thanks to uh, Operational, because someone can see, right? It's no longer crying out. Yeah, yeah so it must be yeah, still over here. Yeah, is it? Not? No. The tank is not bleeding, is it? And it was certainly not the sound of yeah, uh, noise here. Yeah, ground of pain, wow, most in there is. So 15 out of 19 wants to get. Okay, junction roadblock. That, that's what you get for bumping into here, I guess. Man, unbelievable. So, uh, <laughs> wait, where are these people? How can we take them hey, what you out? Need? Yeah, did you uh, finish off this guy? I don't think he did, right? I don't think he did. Didn't hear any sort of movement and we can't see a goddamn thing. So how close are we supposed to be going here without uh, bumming into uh, some unfortunate consequence because well, we are injured and yes, the crapper boss needs a couple of turns to kick yes. in. Woody! Yeah, uh, Woody tells him to get your grenade in the range. So it's okay. Uh, well, we really? assume the tank is still around, right? So, okay, uh, then we just have to stand up and this is... Yeah, okay, there's one soldier, I'm not sure where he came from, where he ventured to, so now we, yeah, that's not so this monstrosity, I didn't hear it move, so we can only assume it's still around these parts in some place. This is, once again, we're looking at the maximum range, and not this thing, um, yeah, okay, well, is it back here, we should be hearing the metal, uh, crunchy sound, I guess. Okay, that actually get on target, it, it inflict, uh, uh, damage. I mean, we probably need more than one of these guys, right? Presumably, well, then we just catch the second uh, grenade ready here, because the tank is still around by the sounds of it, even though it doesn't yeah. the wrong type of sounds. Okay, well, obviously the machine gun not very useful in this angle, so just uh, crawl back here, and then we try to reload and reposition, I guess, in some capacity. How do you, okay, it's out of movement from you direct south, so back here someplace, you say. Oh, I'm not sure dispatching yourself uh, uh, on your own is uh, the smartest play ever. And we don't have any camouflage because we wasted that fucking camouflage kit because uh, apparently... Oh, well, there we go. If just, uh, well, hmm. I mean, yeah, probably uh, every single point could probably make quite a bit of difference. So we just have to take it here, I guess. And then if someone right in front of us, we blast away with our uh, handgun can cannon here, right? Fantastic indeed. So yes. we are static. We're waiting for the enemies to make a mistake. But the only uh, people making some mistakes are we here, evidently. So yeah, we need this. Take cool. this thing here, please. And then we well, have to for some decent rules. Slightly reposition. So we're not on top of uh, Haywire here specifically. And the next time around, we achieve something. Yeah, we find exactly one bullet disengagement uh, before we go to the face, of course. So and then uh, Gus doesn't have any the way of knife and equipment so we just go and hope that the enemies uh, don't sure have to flank us I mean, that's why we should be looking over there presumably just a precaution for now also ready that's a machine gun here great because the guy is still there Shadow. and we get something from the top of us and there's the tank because it wasn't there for the force and we got something from the top of us of unknown uh, quantity could be a grenade I mean obviously it's a grenade but what type of grenade <laughs> We'll find out from Terra D. So, 
Okay, what is it? We do not know, but we Audi. do not detect the position. It's a stun grenade. Well, obviously denied because it works regardless of. Yeah, so why can we not see him with night vision goggles and he just moves up because there's a fucking lead that let me guess up with the reason. Okay, so fantastic. Uh, the tank is now visible, which is great, but what's not so great is of course that the and the tank grenade was completely off target and uh, really? laser being stationed where he is right now, of course, means that he can afford a grenade. And now we have more people stepping up to the plate. So, uh, oh, sure, fantastic. So still. I think it's bullshit. I think the information does uh, there is a bullshit. Maybe uh, I think it's 19 actually instead of 15. Uh, about 14 dudes and one tanky, of course. So uh, hey, are you telling me you can see this guy still? Even though he fight a couple of times. Okay, now we have these four action points. And we saw the tank that I don't see. He would be assailed with his pistol. Oh, there he is, of course. Uh, do we open up right now? Uh, well, this remains to be seen because the fucking tank yeah. is still uh, in these parts, naturally. Give us quite a bit of trouble despite uh, directing three rockets against this, uh, yeah, this uh, hole here. Of course, this really? better, apparently, so we have some friends. Um, this guy, maybe, uh, is dead. We don't know. Yeah, okay. I mean, what can we do? We cannot throw this fucking thing over there. We don't have the range, frankly speaking. No, we do not. And it takes 58 action points. Well, we can get here, I guess. Of course, not again, he's actually on target. Yeah, we have to be right on top of this fucking tank to get anything done. Maybe from the other side, but this uh, tank will just continue to uh, take our militia apart, of course, if we don't interfere. Yeah, okay, then we can... No, this is, no, we have to get away from here. Let's just get gotcha. moving. And then we just have our landmine here on our way, right? Okay, I know, but the tank was uh, already firing, so we just try to get our hand grenades in a better position. I mean, they have a range of maybe like uh, five or six tiles, so maybe seven. Just have to hope that no one is staying around, because they should be engaging our uh, token element to this side here, but the tank can also drive for the uh, bomb fire. Can it not? I think it can. Okay, obviously we have to move. So, well, we can suppress, we have to move. So let's get back here. Uh, let's see what can happen. So, okay, um, let's just see. We have 49 action points. We have some protection to our front and our yes, yeah. out of position. And yes. Scream needs to pop up here and throw a grenade. At, we can actually see him. Well, that's not great, but there are at least two people around. I'm thinking. Now it's what we have to set backs for, I guess. So, the sun grenade at least is. Uh, okay, I think it's customer time for all of our guys here up front. Regardless of the impact on uh, the accuracy and lack thereof. Then we just uh, try to pair them away here, keep them into the woods, or make them scatter away, whatever, because now they know where we are. And that means they also will be trying to. Uh, yeah, flank around, presumably. Okay, just start planting the area with these lighter grenades. And make them reposition. We can only throw uh, one per turn, of course, but at least he would be unable to immediately come around here, I guess. So, uh, use your ears here, presumably, or Panali would be great. Oh, no. And since they know where we are, then we can just use our flashlight here to a certain extent. Yes. But uh, well, completely unrealistic yeah. scenario, right? Okay, um, okay, well, uh, maybe ignore the entire angle for now and keep the uh, tank as the uh, sturdy object to the other side. That's an option because it should be superior to the sandbags, presumably. Okay, I think we need to limit our angles in some capacity, so then we try to burst away at people we, that uh, we receive information on, and we also need to put on our own gas mask, I think really we happen to have a one, it's enough condition, of course, uh, yes. sun grenades doesn't do anything against those, and what is more valuable for you, both items, but we should be in range for all of these here, right, I think we should be, so I think we keep the navigation goggles equipped, and then also bring on our gas mask, so we have 17 action points, what should we be doing with this, uh, reposition, uh, while we want to throw back on top of them, while we can actually shoot, you know, on the same turn. So, okay, we can smoke ourselves, that's an option, and we can stand up and throw a grenade. I think that's the better option. So, okay, this is a grenade here, maybe a grenade into the other side of the woods. And, well, we don't know mustard gas, because once again, we need to suppress these people, otherwise they wouldn't be very effective. Okay, that's one sun grenade here, directed against us, that doesn't do anything really right now. And, well, then we throw another, uh, we have these tiny things back here, probably not achieving a water, but we can try. Uh, in fact, we did get it past the tree, but then we hit the dirt here once again using our 52% camouflage. Mm -hmm. And text will just basically absolutely nothing about Vaja. No, we do not uh, probably do anything at all. Yeah, probably cannot. Hey, what you need? Great, fantastic. So, uh, do we want to open up right now? Because the tank hasn't uh, taken this turn yet, right? Man. <sighs> Okay, it cannot see us directly, I think, so we should probably take him out. <coughs> I think we were able to. Well, uh, so nothing else we could be doing except to change stance, so we are slightly less visible than we were before. And it was indeed shooting at us. Okay. No! Oh, I'm so tired of this. What shit. was that? Shut up. I hear something. And of course, we have to go to the side. Okay, um. Hey, what you need? 
Grenades, äh, uh, probably didn't achieve anything like it all, right? That's what I thought, so at least was some decent body armor, so okay, we hear, uh, we had some movement from somewhere, okay, uh, so did we actually take on some people? So is it 14 or 18 in the game? Make up your mind, please, because it's uh, utterly confusing. I think it's 18 because the rest is bullshit, right? So fantastic. Now we just have to extract ourselves because uh, how many mission friends? It's down uh, to 9 here, I believe, or something stupid like this. Okay, another marathon engagement here in the middle of the night against tanks and elites combined, and we, once again, we don't have anything we can be working with, so suppression fire. We are hit, of course. We come in fear. We probably have barely any action points to work with, and Rodok here is the sound of movement from in the southeast. So indeed, we are looking at, yeah, we are looking at 18 people. So 17 plus uh, one tank, so southeast you say, so right over here of course, and we have 33 action points, and the uh, tank is actually closing in on us right now as we speak. Ja, uh, das geht up and running, if we stay here we are dead, so just keep running, and hopefully we can get away from the enemies before they completely really? pin us down, and since Razor is now around, wow, well, uh, we need to still take out this goddamn fucking tank, right, but no matter where we go, we cannot make this happen, and so, we also have to take out the supporting infantry, at one stage, so we can only do so many things at the same time. And this tank, of course, extremely dangerous. If, yeah, mean, what we're supposed to do, we have a free rocket launchers, and we don't do anything with that stuff, but we can hide in the smoke, I guess. That's an option. I think the tank is actually slightly more important, right? Because the router can maybe handle himself, and then we just try to throw these things here from smoke coverage. Assuming, of course, we don't get uh, driven over by yeah. accident, because it can certainly happen. So this grenade was ineffective. The other grenade was probably also completely Aldi, ineffective. Uh, with Vajar, well, uh, we don't want to create a wall of light in front of us, in case we don't need to cross this. Yeah, okay, uh, this is only one action point here, assuming we you can see anything. And I see what you can see. Anything like it all. If you swing around, we see one guy and find a close distance. Okay, we don't know exactly what he's wielding. It's interesting that you cannot see anything with your flashlight. Okay, uh, should this guy probably needs to be taken care Wait. of? So that we throw more grenades, so we take him out. Well, we have some decent protection, but we don't know about the other side right now, but neither did he hear anything. And from last time, I remember you aren't actually deaf. Yes. Yeah, so we still have 70 people to worry about, and we know there is someone trying to suppress us over and over and over and over again from all the way back there, no matter what we do, this certainly bound to happen, so we cannot be seen. Uh, do we know about his equipment? Do we know? Uh, he has uh, no gas mask, he has a shotgun, okay. Well, we have an episode of hand grenades, I guess. We can create a wall of mustard gas in front of us, and then that only allows the elites to come through here, but we don't want to get flanked, right? Which will happen uh, as we speak here anyway, I would wager. Okay, well, if we throw the grenade on top of him, and then, well, who can pin him down? Text is better being. Oh, it must be because of these stupid uh, goggles, that would be the reason, right? Okay, there we go. Now we can actually see that something. Oh, uh, you have the uh, Ambit Extra straight, right? So why don't we try this here first with our soft point bullets? <laughs> That's actually relatively decent. Okay, then we cock the hammer one-handed, like the uh, cowboy that we are. Okay, but it's one shotgun down. And they drop then, uh, okay, pump extra shotgun apparently. Okay, so, um, just one down. Great, but I think we're still looking at 16 people someplace, and we don't know if up to certain day as to where they could be located. Okay, but it was relatively decent, so we should, uh, probably also look over there, and we still don't see anyone in the other vicinity, right? Okay, there we go, of course, they are slightly further back than we were preferring right now. Well, this is good information, I suppose. So, well, so flashlight is um, sometimes of an ass, sometimes of a hindrance, yeah. but of course, they, 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 we didn't spot anyone right in front of Haywire. We only saw a ping in the uh, woods back here someplace, which is not a very useful information right now, I should say. So our immediate front, uh, which angle is 20 more boys, I think it's actually this 45 angle right here, right? Okay, we try this, I suppose, we should be able to at least shoot in this turn of vicinity next turn, so we don't want to throw any yes. other brake lights in this area, but scream can maybe uh, help with another grenade, so well, we throw some uh, yeah, uh, buster gas in front of us, I uh, don't think we'll achieve anything, so we go and we'll be going for our entire complement of these uh, grenades here with Ranger, right? Okay, well, we try this, because we have at least some information, but we want to force into reposition. Okay, there's one militia friend, so obviously there's not an enemy right uh, besides them. Yeah, if only had some information, right? We can only uh, throw something there blindly into for some decent results. That's something where we stupid enough to stop into stuff here eventually, which they won't do, presumably. Yeah. Okay, what's gonna be saying? A video is desperate times, so that this keeps them on the move, I guess, instead of uh, having the ability to burst away at us here every single turn with their full automatic firearms. Yeah, this angle, uh, that's not something we want to see enemies at right now. Okay, well, it's the best we can do here once again. So, versus action Woody. points, it's only a gas. Okay, gas doesn't need to throw a grenade right now, because, uh, well, uh, do we want to throw more grenades? We have a stack of three, I believe. I'm more worried about people coming around, frankly speaking. Maybe this uh, area should be illuminated, actually. So, this doesn't happen as uh, likely. This is actually not terrible. We should be able to see this now. Pro provision here, no problem. And they cannot go to the other side of the uh, barbed wire because we'll be seeing them already. 
Okay, so we can see this on provision. Just double checking. Uh, well, barely. So we have to go all the way to the map edge, which is not very likely. So it's because of our gas mask is leaking out of provision for the most part. But we just keep looking in the standard vicinity just to make sure. Maybe here's something along the way. Who knows? Okay, fantastic. So then hopefully we can extra two dock here and some capacity. Okay, the tank doesn't have 100% accuracy, which is good. I heard something unfriendly sounding. Well, obviously it was the tank firing. I think the enemies may actually have us as a disadvantage, right? So uh, I should have a wood dog there. <laughs> Not sure what the militia is actually doing, yeah? because I certainly cannot see a good damn thing here because it's in the middle of the night against the leads all around, always good, but at least we can uh, finally hey, get away from the wood dog here, right? We probably should. So let's keep running here. Yeah, to where exactly doesn't matter right now. It's only important that we do run away. Look around here, hit the doors, we are not, uh, yeah, immediately, <laughs> okay, we know this somewhere on the other side right now, uh, is this smoke still going, really? of course, if it's not, of course, it's not. of course, this smoke coverage isn't going any longer, but this tank isn't focusing his, his, its attention on you right now, but of course, there are other people around here, who may have a different uh, opinion yeah. about stuff, so, about, really? that's for the other tank grenade, not that we got interrupted, and also, that this thing actually gets destroyed, you know, so the guarantee, <laughs> Alright, so apparently we need to use all of them. That's good. And we created a little bit of smoke here. Wow. Uh, well, there's some smoke coverage from the other side, of course. And the enemies know where we are. So, yeah. Okay, well, at least we have... Uh, you're still alive. For now, that is, of course. And we screwed a little bit. And we need at least the two additional uh, anti tank grenades to take out this vehicle, I would think. So, okay, yes. fantastic idea. Well, I thought we could be taking this thing out with all the rockets combined. But apparently, it was a mistake, my assumption. And once again, we're looking at... I mean, I can keep looking at this number, but still uh, 16 enemies, some players. And we have absolutely no information on them whatsoever. And since the tank is providing information, they won't be you, moving up very aggressively to meet us here, presumably. Okay, yeah. so this thing is ready, yes? It is indeed ready. So now we should probably throw a operator right in front of us. Yes. We should do this. Okay, you do have 80 something action points and we are almost fully healed. That's great, but it's only temporary and we use two generation boosters of which we don't have that many. And Tex can, uh, but I don't think Tex is as useful right now, so maybe he should be using his brake light over there. So hey, if I can actually see some people. Uh, okay, well, we need to create uh, a death zone for the enemies, but apparently uh, the enemies have created a death zone for us. There should be a couple of people over there, but then they give down what to illuminate our militia, right? So, okay, where are they? Do we know? We forced them to reposition a couple of times our grenades. But later on, was achieved from this here, I would wager. Okay, it doesn't bounce against the... Desperado! Yes, the Desperado, okay. Uh, it's a handgun, so apparently not the guy who was trying to process with his AR, I would wager. And some of these bright lights, they aren't exactly in the best of shapes, right? Okay, this is, uh, yeah, okay, 10 action points, too expensive for you. Okay, what can we do with information? So, okay, we have to cock the hammer here, apparently. Okay, so one guy is completely healthy, of course, and still he's like 14 people someplace. At least one back here, one on the road, I would wager, maybe Ruta can engage him uh, once, and if we can take care of the tank here, which gives us some headaches here along the way, continues to do so, and Gus on his own would be very risky, but we have to finally suppress the enemy some capacity, and I just don't yeah. see any good opportunities, but at least you're looking in the correct direction, right? How do you, partner? But you cannot see, because yeah. some trees, I guess, we just want to for away, but no way I'm exposing myself. To the other angle right now. Okay, so uh, sure, do we open up um, right now? Do we activate the flashlight to see what's going on in this area? I mean, the militia probably is some targets right back here to worry about. It seems very likely. Yeah, but we can see if so we can hit anything. So, the best thing we can do is to top of our um, cylinder here. I guess since it's uh, single loading anyway, it doesn't matter if we use the full stack because not the uh, stripper clip here. It's loose rounds, even though it doesn't look the part. I think it's, yeah, I just have a swing on cylinder. I do not know. I don't know this firearm. Yes. Something I would have to check in detail. Okay, there's probably someone else back there. Yeah, this is probably pretty likely. Because they were bursting away at us, of course. So, why, uh, yeah, what can we make happen about this? I mean, Master Gas will be expanding quite a uh, long distance here eventually. I think uh, we try to establish a uh, defense smoke in then right? Okay, I think we need to do this. So, we put this between the militia and the uh, suspected enemy positions uh, somewhere in this vicinity. It also makes them harder to hit here, I guess, especially if they're prone behind the smoke. Even though it's not the full smoke screen, it's only, well, only Master Gas with AB in. And then maybe, hey, we'll take care of this guy here in some capacity. It's not that we're going to get any better cover positions for you. And we could take him out, I guess, if Haywire fails. So maybe keep us in reserve. Maybe, I'm not quite sure. Well, Haywire tries his first, I guess. Yeah! Was well, scheme is invisible, so we, well, I'm not quite sure how many bullets we have to suppress. <laughs> 
okay, we take it. And of course, we went uh, haywire. And we have only 20 round magazines in the slide machine guns. So what gives like Okay, at least he's yes. dead. Which means we can now proceed with the grenade angle. I, I would have preferred to shoot at these AR um, guys, of course. Okay, well, hopefully it will be... Well, if it's in front of us, would this be a hindrance? Not necessarily. We just have to make sure that it doesn't land in near the militia friend, of course. Yeah. It's scream, it's scream, of course, and of course we cannot change stance right here, wow, ugh, let's stop being obnoxious game, thank you, so it leaves the gas here, and the gas probably needs to provide, or continue to provide overwatch, but he can just hurt the entire area here, because there will be some guys to immediate, uh, western as well, I would wager so much, but we want to do about him, if anything, well, um, this is good and all, but you don't want to waste the entire stack here, essentially, right? Yeah, okay, if, we, we don't hear anything, really, so what gives, I guess? Maybe then just ready the submachine gun to actually set up focus in case there is someone around here, who knows? Could certainly be a possibility. Razor! Damn you uh, are you? so cool! I wanted to be just like you! you I was working on this? It, I swear! Ah, this bites the big one! Fuck! What was that? You got him killing me with this? Wait. So, once again, we get a shot to pieces here by uh, one guy, and then the fucking tank is still around. We still have 16 people, now it's just uh, giving us the other number. So, it was... What? And by the uh, by the way, we have some uh, had some ceramic plates here in the sky, you know, in this vest, and you're telling me this fucking individual with whatever it was takes us out in one shot, and from this close a distance, and now uh, we don't have anything we hey, can be so retaliating with, so... Uh, I'm not sure what to set up for this after what happened in this engagement here. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but. Uh, oh. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? We have three rockets. We shoot against the tank. Nothing happens. In grunts and pain, nothing happens. <laughs> then we have to get extremely close on an entertain grenade. Then we throw an entertain grenade on top of this thing here. Barely anything happens. We need to use a four of those in total, presumably. And that's by the way, we're playing with explosive damage set to 200%. So, we have to be right on top of this guy, and then you tell me this fucking individual comes close, shoots one uh, bullet in our torso, which is protected by some decent body armor together with a plate, and uh, we uh, get uh, yeah, destroyed here immediately in one shot. And now we have to race over there to grab this stack of enter tank grenades, exposing ourselves here once again. And this tank is still around, and we'll be blasting us to pieces if we aren't careful. I mean, I can only uh, accept so much uh, stuff here in uh, one engagement, you know, and that's not down to my failures. The video I was trying to be as cautious and also as aggressive as in the same time as possible and also necessary. And then you're telling me I still get the short end of the stick here every single time, and then we get shot in the face once again by pressing our helmet every single time. And then we use two yes. radiation boosters, and with all the people over here throwing all the grenades, and it's completely useless. So I'm not quite sure if I want to set it for the same results all the time, you know, so I'm. I'm not quite sure, man. I really uh, got them tired of this bullshit. I really am extremely tired of this bullshit. We even scooted like a five or six tiles just to make sure that no one can see us after we threw that into tank grenade and afterwards we even had to reposition. Hey, what you need? So I'm not quite sure. I want to set up for this stuff all the time. I, know I want to play fair and square, but the game is simply not fair and square uh, with me here. Most of the engagements, and especially in this campaign for whatever reason. I don't think we had the same frequency of uh, accidental headshots, you know, by the enemy on us here in the last campaign, but it's just outrageous beyond belief. It's happened to us in this engagement here once again. Uh, wow. Well, I'm not sure what the setup for this here, because uh, why should I be trying to uh, play safe all the time if we still end up with the same results? The game's going us over the same with the uh, fucking good um, um, yeah, inherent light source, which also means that Rotok is not nearly as effective, and once the energy booster wears off, it's even less effective than it would be otherwise. No, I don't want to set up for this fucking nonsense. You can shaft yourself, you stupid fucking game. I'm done with this shit here, so once again I want to take an exception for my own rules and just, uh, yeah, make something else happen here because it's just outlandish. Really? I'm really fucking tired of this bullshit. I'm really extremely fucking tired of this bullshit. So for that fucking thing on top of this tank here and then we race him in the other direction, hope then we don't get shot to pieces here by some other idiot there, you know, because this thing would take tons of, hey, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, no, I'm not setting for this result any longer. So I'll just briefly replay our turn here and get back to you once uh, we get back to the other uh, angle here. Woody! <laughs> Rosserus! Yeah, by the way. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, by the way, this time around, we didn't even get to see this guy with a flashlight. Yeah, fantastic indeed, right? 
Shit. I hear something. Woody? Well, as you know, I'm not of the safe scumming type, but the game has screwed me over every single engagement in the past 10 episodes. Uh, probably more than this, and I'm frankly, I'm done with this shit, you know. So, I take an exception, and yeah. Boy, fantastic indeed. So, how many fucking dudes are still around? And of course, the tank is unstoppable because despite throwing all the rockets against it, simply doesn't matter. But isn't that great? And we didn't even get to see this goddamn pistol this time around, even though it was in the same position. Always nice, right? Okay, so, well, way too dangerous to move in front of the yeah. guy. So, great, you know, if we can't see anything, get interrupts, yes. these are all completely useless. Yeah. Except for you, potentially, but then again, we cannot see this by throwing the brake light. So, well, then we just, I'm not sure, burst away blindly here, for I do care. Uh, we get exactly zero shots on target, unsurprisingly. Yeah! And of course the fucking tank is still around, and it's at least the two ender tank grenades hey, are still away, of course. Okay, wow, well, uh, incidentally, we don't have a medkit on router because there's no inventory to store anything. Ready. Okay, wow, well, uh, we need some smoke, there is some smoke, I think we try to throw this stuff back here then, uh, once in a while, and hope that the, well, because it just shot, as you can see, we have a couple more militia friends of the fight. So, can we throw this turn? No, we cannot, that we still go hit the dirty and hope for some decent results. So, while well, we are hidden, but only barely. Hey, once again, we're looking at the same problem, essentially, so, well, at least Shotgun is pumped, I guess, so we can do anything except to provide some flanking protection, I suppose, because the guys, they will be coming around here, they are in the woods, and, uh, well, we have no one with us, so it gets, I guess. Okay, well, I don't sure about that much, but the moment's a little bit too late to worry about this stuff, I would presume that we keep ourselves ready here as a blocking force. Oh, well, there we go. And I'm not sure where you're going, my friend. Uh, so we can see him, yes. Then we should probably put a stuck in his torso if we can manage, but only once luck, and if it misses, we are dead meat once again, so what is the weird thing? We have no idea. Well, we hope for some results because now we can reposition. <coughs> and it's least on target, and he was severe thing. Looks like an AKS 74U, so very nasty. But of course, now we are shot, we are visible, and the tree is a terrible cover, of course. Okay, the tank, it's uh, 15. We can see one, he's coming infective. Hopefully. So it's 14. Then we know where like uh, three or four of them are at most, but we only have a general idea of where they could be located. Not exactly uh, know where they could be uh, precisely. Well, but at least the three or four people lost them way at the diamond militia friend. How so obviously, Brad Lights didn't achieve anything. Uh, we have plenty of guns here from the other uh, guys we took apart, of course. Well, um, would they be coming around? We have a defensive brake light formation up front here, but it's the only thing we know, we do. Okay. Just have to be up front, of course, if want to jump that stupid thing, and it means we have even few action points, it would be otherwise. Well, we can at least react to some people, because we have, uh, well, these are mostly elites around here, presumably they are with Vajra. Well, if we only had some grenades yes. left, you know, we we'll have the launch of the because we do not. And then uh, we can yeah. throw some blind suppression for in this area, because more illumination won't be solving any of our problems. And uh, let's see about the militia. Okay, there could be someone coming around around here. Uh, that's not unlikely, is it, I guess? Uh, sure. You, but can we do yes. anything about this right now? Yeah. Well, obviously the machine gun cannot move. So let's continue to throw some blind suppression fire here. My of course, gun's yeah. feeling light. Of course it's feeling light. So then we should be giving one more time of room just to keep this angle 100% uh, secure for now. Well, we can keep continuing to build this area here with grenades, but like it's going to yes. do a whole lot, frankly speaking. So, okay, uh, are they actually of an asset right now? Oh, slightly, I guess. Well, then we keep them on, I suppose, with the focus. Howdy, and thanks for then join our uh, brave man over here with his revolver, I guess. Uh, I suppose. Eventually, uh, probably we get this kill, but then again, we need to uh, get uh, some beats on the enemies, right? That would not be a terrible thing. Okay, well, I suppose it's. Oh, man, this fucking game. Okay, let's just uh, wait out because there's nothing else I could be saying except to vent my frustration once again. So maybe next time we can uh, throw that grenade without getting ourselves killed in some capacity. So our squad leader is on the opposite side of the map here. Both our squad leaders are incidentally, but this gives us more action points for attacks, which is actually rather important. Okay, they were flanking around because, well, that's what I would be doing as well. If you had the manpower, but despite going in with 60 militia, I think we have like maybe 5 remaining at most. Great, and take a store alive despite throwing uh, one grenade on top of him, or eight, I should say, and uh, three combined rockets, all of which were incidentally on target. So it doesn't matter, apparently. Ready. And another down, and we don't have any extra action points, but this, I guess. Okay, so we're also shooting at Wodok, incidentally. Yes. So, yeah, we cannot see anything, so what gives, I guess, just let go. Woody. And we can another use this pair of interrupts. Shh. Picking up noise, Woody. This is slightly more hey, useful. Woody. Slightly more useful, and let's see our cover position from this angle. We have some cover, I guess. And of course, yeah, it's only one shot here. But can you see us right now? Yes, you can. Well, obviously, then we have to defend ourselves, and we well, we can use the pistol, I suppose. Is this thing ready? No, it's not right. We'll explain the problem with the action points. Why not go to get very far here before this with investment? Uh, but if we can aim, we know. Uh, do we know about no? We don't have anything that we aim scanning for center mass and look for some decent results. And we with our shot, obviously, the light. 
Ein wie geht's zum Motorenfeier? Times 2 und Times 3 geben. Okay, Nether Bomb Pack der wird fürs 76 Stufen Browser Pack 3 vorm. Ah, ah die Militia ist wahr und dann kommt Effective Lack like at all. Ob es gut? Okay, soll ich die sind dabei? Uh, survive this turn. So, we can throw another grenade in tank in hope for the survive. Yes, und take it out for the matter. So, stand up here because we have to. Take another enter tank grenade in your hands and throw it squarely on top of this monstrosity. And hopefully, this will take care of this thing here once and for all. Oh, I suppose we have a couple more grenades remaining, don't we? Hey, what you need? Okay, so since we didn't attack any return fire from this side here, I suppose that it means there's no one else right around this time here. So I think we finish him off. We finish him off. You, oh, you have to be kidding with this. You can't even handle a single target second yes. you open. It's obvious great. And now the other enemies have an opportunity to come in and oh, finish the kill here. Essentially fine. Oh, fantastic. So this guy, of course, is shotgun. And this is a stupid fucking single extra revolver because we are crazy. And since we cannot see anything here anyway, well, uh, we don't know people around here. Right? So you, well, we need to reposition. So we take the reposition here. And of course, we are crouched because they suppressed us apart. Oh, the <laughs> of course, they said, yeah, that makes lots of sense. Okay, now we can see we can activate the flashlight. Someone else can shoot, I guess. So we just throw a grenade, but then again, Woody. yeah. So okay, fantastic. The why I even a fucking pony from one uh, stuck here, you no? Know? I thought they were uh, experienced quickly, but apparently you aren't. And now we don't have any action points, and we cannot see a goddamn thing because this is the edge of our natural eyes that is supposed to be. Okay, great. We have to reload, so we are, cannot do anything with really. this. So just, uh, yeah, well, we do have the side arm, don't we? Well, maybe there's an option here. I suppose, yeah, uh, I'm losing my composure here, evidently, for reasons that are quite uh, understandable, aren't they? Okay, well, uh, so we can actually see, maybe we should illuminate him, but then again, um, what's probably not the best of ideas right now. But then all of our people can see, but Wee. they can see us, and we have a vastly so, uh, inferior cover to the yes. enemies, presumably because we're hanging back here in the woods. And if we just keep suppressing us with their automatic yeah. firearms over and over and over again, so I think we don't do anything except to. Because we blindly here at his legs because we have some protection from direct tank, I guess. And as predicted, we with every single shot. Oh, this nice. So now we cannot see a good thing here, of course, except for you. And you cannot shoot because it's at the edge of a brief of vision. Yes, so fantastic. How many fucking dudes are still around? Uh, great. So 16 still. That means, uh, I think the number means that all of the initial uh, guys have been dealt with. But the tank was also part of the original garrison, wasn't it? Or the blocking force of whatever here. I'm not sure. So 16, 15, uh, 14. And we don't know where all of them are. Well, we have no idea actually. Uh, 60 to 80 percent of the enemy formations are still completely unknown to us. Howdy, Absolutely unknown to us. Okay, let's get back here at least. Because there's a little bit of a bush in uh, front of us here. Yeah. Tiny Howdy, mount. Okay, this guy is fully combat effective. Uh, we can see him. So why don't we try to force him to reposition? And I think Master Gas may actually achieve this, yes? And since we need our own gas must here, let's put it on. And I don't think this thing will actually do anything this particular scenario, right? Oh, actually, it does a little bit. Well, that's nice. Uh, let's just see what you can make happen with this. Why do we take this? Or oh, maybe better idea than using the Master Gas Grenade, I suppose. I assume, of course, yeah. we didn't inflict any damage because he's shooting with soft point ammunition. <sighs> oh, okay, I take it. Dead. This for now, but we will be joining him pretty yes. soon, I would wager. Okay, this interrupt is Lucius, but we know there are at least a couple of people over there. Uh, well, so that we can see anything. So someone has to protect the site here anyhow, don't they? Yeah, probably. Yes. Yeah, I mean, what are we supposed to do with this information? Was we blindly? I mean, there won't be... Uh, maybe there will be coming close enough, I'm not quite sure. Well, uh... I mean, okay, uh, we try this then, I guess, not that we get anything on target, okay. Yeah, that's completely vitally inaccurate, of course. Uh, a couple of people. Mm -hmm. Lovely, and now we get suppressed and also shot for the woods, of course. So that at least six people to our immediate front. <laughs> Are you... Yes. God, they're fucking kidding me with this. Okay, so, well, now we are completely exposed here with Razor, I suppose, yeah, because the smoke has gone away and we still haven't achieved anything with that last we attack in the hours, because, yeah, of course the game hates our fucking guts. Okay, well, we can, we can all the last fucking grenade. Oh, man, stand up here. And we try to throw this thing, uh, yeah, is it the range? Is it the accuracy? Uh, it must be uh, possible to throw this over there, right? I mean, why was it off target last time around? I'm not quite sure. Well, um, can we even step any closer forward? Well, we can get here, I guess. Uh, we can still forward, I'm hoping. Yeah, there we go. So maybe it will be on top of course we have to hit this in the center portion of this object. Uh, yeah, relative to its uh, geometry, I should say, of course. Well, if it bounces against the trees, we are in toast. But then again, I cannot throw back here because it will have no effect whatsoever. Well, okay, there we go. This fucking thing is finally down. Took us long enough. 
Oh, this is gonna shoot back, but we know where there are enemies around, right? Okay, where can we be going? No, we're ready, so I think we just change stance and pray, I guess, because uh, two uh, or three tires of versus going prone probably is not a bad idea. Hey, and uh, you, okay, was he looking in the wrong direction after being shot? And now we can't see him any longer because we allowed him to pull away. Wow, fantastic. Yeah, okay, now he's gone away, so we have to chase him down without getting uh, killed ourselves here. Damn it. And of course, there could be more mines around here, we do not know, but we find out pretty soon. So, great, fantastic indeed. Absolutely good and fantastic. Thanks for this militia. Exactly when we needed it, right? So, okay, it's one tank down, and we still have 40 people to worry about, and we have no idea uh, where they could be, except that they take apart our militia and continue to do so. But this guy is dead, that's something. Woody! Gus is our squad leader. Gus has experience level A, but apparently it doesn't matter because, yeah, okay. Um, this is awesome sandbags, uh, I suppose. Yeah. Um, well, what can we do here? We don't see. Or he, we do, yeah, we know there are people back there, but we don't know about what, yeah. what we're doing about them, of course. And they know exactly where we are Woody. because we're fighting a defensive battle. Yeah, we can't do anything with you. You're also less suppressed and also slightly hit. So that means we are now uh, exactly, exactly what we are a slow with men. Yeah, keeping these grenades at hand for them blindly into the woods doesn't achieve anything as we've already learned. And they have like at least three or four people here around to have be some place. Yes. And we simply cannot see anything. We cannot uh, yeah, even flush them out because our grenade launcher has run out of ammo because there's no resupply that we could be getting. So getting this close to um, the capital this early in the campaign, relatively speaking, was probably a horrible mistake. But then again, these people that would just, just uh, come uh, against the Gotham here anyway, absolutely guaranteed. Yeah, pretty much guaranteed. Yeah. So, okay, head the door here and reload your uh, useless automatic rifle. And if there are action points, then we re yeah, also reload our machine pistol. So it's 27, we can make it happen. So we just have to rely on this for now. Yes. Maybe we can swing around finally since the tank is actually uh, has been destroyed. It's actually a terrible idea because it certainly beats uh, being here, right? Okay, so we have a, just over half a magazine remaining and throwing more blind suppression fire back there. Probably oh, not the super other. useful right now. And we also need to reload our super 10 cannon. And we have to have the rifle available as well if we need to do so. Our 50 camouflage, we already, already reapplied it and dropped it off, I should say. But we probably need to give some room here, right? To the other side. Make here some players. Okay, well, something we can maybe make do uh, with, I should say. And now we throw what exactly and where for that matter. Hopefully, they don't have to say that this engagement is both frustrating and a got them hard, you know. It's extremely hard as a matter of fact, despite me using Composer a couple of times over already. Yeah, this is uh, useless. We don't have any information whatsoever. We have no information whatsoever. So the best we can do is to uh, keep them illuminated somewhere. Well, it will actually make sense. We want to throw right at the top of them on the turn. We can actually shoot. And the only one capable of shooting right now is Scream. But the defensive uh, illumination barrier would not be terrible idea. They, they have to move forward in some capacity. Maybe we can create a death zone in the middle here. Keep this uh, under flashlight observation. It's better than just doing nothing at all. It's not like we're going to get any interrupts and what you see, there is no one around here, of course, and that's not the matter of the, yeah, there's absolutely no difference here, frankly speaking, except for the middle portion, which is not very important right now, is it? So guys can see, of course, much better than we could be doing, and there's no one else around, so I guess, I guess. Yes. That's what we thought, that's what we expected. So, no, we can't do anything. Uh, great. I killed better guys of course, than right you. here, of course, where else? Oh, oh, great. Could be ah, so we have two flankers at yes. least, we are minimum, and we got shot again, now we have 35 action points, we are out of cover, uh, we are also crouched, because we suck apart, if we look around, can we see this guy, no we cannot, but he can see us perfectly well, obviously the light, even though we do happen to have a good pair of night vision goggles, well fantastic indeed, so uh, the tank is dead, uh, someone threw a, uh, threw a illumination uh, or break whatever here on top of us, obviously great, well um, we are surrounded by our sides, so okay. this kind of thing here, this is into the woods where we still can, and that means of course they will have, uh, more people flanking here as we speak. Oh, it, this guy, by the way, is not dead, but he's dropped this weapon, I suppose. Okay, fantastic indeed. Absolutely got them lovely. So I'm not sure uh, how they are always aware of our position, no matter where we go. I can push it on this, but then Ready. again, uh, this is turned into a disaster from start to finish. Yeah! Starting with this got them accidental headshot nonsense there. Okay, well, uh, obviously there will be some people back here someplace, yes. and this got them yeah. fucking machine gun is completely utter useless for all intents and purposes. So put some fucking RFI back here. Oh, we actually uh, hit someone, imagine this, that's a, yeah, that's yes. a rough thing for yeah. us. 
Yeah, okay, fantastic. Yes. Can we maybe see someone? No, we cannot, of course. Why would we be able to see Wait. anything? Why would we be able to see anything? So if we look at this arrow or flashlight, I don't think it would uh, change anything, but maybe Scream can actually see some people yes. that and shoot, you know? Okay, so take off these useless night vision goggles because they are indeed just that, completely and utterly useless. And then uh, we want to create a depth for the enemies, but since we have uh, these flanking elements to worry about as well, so we can stay here for very long. I like it all. I mean, we cannot move. We we are forced to remain stationary, so activate this goddamn useless flashlight of yours, and then we can see the guy up front. Of course we cannot. Yes. Would be too hard, would it? Okay. Wait, fantastic. So then, turn off that fucking flashlight, even though we exactly where we are, and then we try to flash them out of our useless brake lights here and hope for some decent results, even though I don't think it would give us anything like it all, but maybe it would be nice if we could finish off the guys back there before the other ones cross the distance and take us out with their andere landing automatic suppression uh, all the time all over again without stopping you know, everything could turn essentially yes okay now we can see and this guy is not even the guy for shooting at us because it was someone with an AR and this is obviously something in the way of the handgun we can take him out because he has been caught at the crossfire and I think now we hit the dirt and try to get shot in the face again this engagement would be slow and okay so Gasser could probably need to help out on the other angle I would think uh, also of course he can make this happen well I suppose he has to take it so he takes uh, on his own and also quite enough experience level 8 but... yeah well that's why right. well <sighs> No, we had eyes on this. this could have been the case here. Okay, wow, well, uh, good thing we checked them, right? So what are we looking at here? He has, uh, wow, well, needs to be taken care of. Hopefully it's the only one around here. So an accurate headshot, maybe? Uh, okay, at least we can make happen finally. Wow, well, just in time, as the saying goes, right? Just in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we look around, right, it doesn't achieve anything. Just hit the dirt and we maybe can uh, reload one. Yeah, we can exactly reload one a bullet. It's always nice. So, of course, they had the manpower to flank and we do not any longer. Because we are pinned down by these fucking tanks here the whole time. Now the eyes are in hands. Yeah, okay. Three more people. Whoa! So. Thought my number was up. <laughs> Yeah, and this is completely useless at this point in time, it's so RV, and uh, by the way, we have it's not a regeneration booster worth of, okay, so 12 people, okay, uh, we know we have a couple of them are, I guess, okay, uh, over here, that fine flashes out, so can we check for sounds of movement, so root, okay, so it's a completely confusing, chaotic nighttime engagement, uh, for, yeah, absolutely horrendous here all around, what else can we say, really? <laughs> Great. Ruta okay, is a faint side of movement from the northwest. Probably the guy trying to pull away, I would think. Even though it's our northwest and not to our northeast or direct north. Okay, scream has a sound of movement from the southeast. That's probably the guys on the other side of the. Yeah, can we reposition? Reconsolidate our lines someplace? I'm not quite sure we can make this happen. I'm not so certain about this, to be frank. Okay, Northwest, it's over here someplace, right? Well, what can we do with this information? Really? A razor cannot uh, dispatch himself. We're right now also chasing us down from the other sides of the woods, and we are completely out of all type of ordnance because we had to expand everything uh, to wipe out that goddamn fucking tank. Okay, well, uh, there could also be flanking from the other side since we are actually facing away from the rapids right now. Ready. Yeah, I know he's here, Crap. but he doesn't have a weapon, but, uh, yeah, if he picked up his weapon back up, of course. Well, this, but that's what we get for getting all of our fucking shots here off target. <sighs> oh, it's something we can make happen. So hit the dirt, oh, hit the yeah. hit the dirt, hit the dirt, the idiot, the main. Oh, hey, so okay, Northwest over here someplace. What can we do about this information? Uh, we are surrounded by all sides here in this confusing item engagement. So he will be taking some return fire from the other guy in the back, presumably. And what do we have available? So dying, um, healthy, okay. And a couple more dudes here standing in the illuminated era because they are suicidal. Well, um, don't have anything really. We also don't have any incendiary shells any longer. And the shotgun doesn't need to be pumped out or something. Okay, what can we do with this? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. We don't have any action points. We know there's someone over here someplace. And it could be multiple flankers for, for we know. We have no idea whatsoever. So then we the shotgun. And then we try to put the focus in the darkness. Is okay, so northwest is probably back here, I guess. So that we can provide uh, even close to 360 security. And that's <coughs> probably yes, more uh, guys to worry about here. Uh, if we start uh, running around, right? Presumably. Okay, we need to uh, prevent, we need to consolidate our lines. They're also closing in from the front angle on our machine gunner, yeah. probably from both directions here. Yeah, okay, well, it doesn't matter where we go, we can't hit anything, so it gives, I guess. Okay, uh, maybe, uh, well, we have 45 action points because they're suppressing us, always good. At least, uh, yeah, make this angle go away for now and then we advance with our uh, machine pistol. We also have to reload at one stage. Okay, what can text and friends do? Howdy, partner! Woody! Yeah, we need to uh, pull back here, we need to pull back. That's not tenable, sure but take us apart. Need to help out, we need to 
meet up with Rudok and friends here to make anything happen. Yeah, we just have to hope that we don't bump into anyone here right away because you know it's at least one individual someplace and we just have to hope that we can set up some sort of defense against him. Yeah, attacks also gets all the way here. Please come on, that's not before they pin us down entirely and uh, rip us to pieces here. Yes. Thankfully, Scream can actually move right now. Yeah, let's avoid about illumination and anything of this useless stuff here because it doesn't do anything for us. We just have to hope that Razor can extract himself here once hey, in a while. this hey what you need yeah so uh, we did get shot of course so Rudok here someone's uh, sound of uh, voice in northwest and southeast I think they were actually yeah, I'm not quite sure one was shooting us from the outside of the woods I would presume or something like this okay uh, yeah. great, absolutely fantastic so uh, yeah haywire uh, well I go haywire okay. here for engagement let's just get off the way here uh -huh. you know, you have to retreat entirely okay so how many dudes are still around so uh, 11 people yes okay and we have barely any information on these guys and we have I think maybe two or three combat effective so we get rooted here essentially by it complete and utterly rooted after all of this is said and done and it's not actually a guarantee that we hey, can survive because we have ice and we have absolutely no ice even though we have some camouflage and we have um, generation mark 2 night vision goggles and yet really? we can achieve anything with that but apparently we cannot yeah, evidently we cannot, so that's obviously the hey, so they're shooting us in the back, they're shooting us from both directions, and we have 50 action points. Well, is there anyone close enough to do anything about this, while well, we can try to flush them out with uh, some grenades, if we had any information of where they're really located. While well, we can hit the dirt and burst away blind, yes. How's the partner? Uh, well, we can use the flashlight, I guess, but then again, it would be known that we are racing uh, along the road here somewhere, probably not the uh, smartest play ever, right? Okay, but where can we be going and still be effective? We need to get behind some cover here at least and not step on the landmine because these are still around. I haven't forgotten about this. Okay, we can go here, 49 action points and then what? I can illuminate the sky presumably, but Gus only has like uh, 75 action points. It's barely enough to ready the submachine gun to shoot over there. Yeah! And we simply cannot stay here and shoot right now. Howdy, Is that possible? Yes! Howdy, partner! Yeah, so the, yeah, we are retreating. I think we should be retreating because now we can take out all these people, right? We can try to hold our ground, but I don't think it's going to happen here, my friends. So that's the uh, turn into a complete route here after all. I'm not sure how long this took, but uh, apparently, yeah. So, okay, well, maybe we can survive. <laughs> this we can say here. So, how far away are the enemies from back here? We created a wall of light for them. So, they will be reluctant to move through here. Okay, that maybe buys us a one half turns. But we fairly zero information about the flanker or flanker spec. They absolutely zero as a matter of fact. And if we go prone right now and shoot, we have some action points. Woody. And the gas has uh, basically no action points whatsoever. And we don't have any heavy ordnance remaining. We can take the energy Howdy, booster. Partner. I mean, but the um, flash will also force them to reposition. But it also eliminates us, I guess. Woody. Yeah, we do have some grenades remaining. But we don't know about other flankers in uh, front of here. Sure thing. And if at least the one fucking sniper here around this part some place, well, can you throw anything? You don't, uh, you don't have any fucking breakdowns remaining, do you? No, you do not, of course. So the only source of information would be via text here, either thrown or with the uh, power switch, Woody. essentially. Nope. <laughs> well, these things are light, but it doesn't mean we can throw them very far. Yeah, they will just, no, they will just uh, fucking uh, finish Howdy, us off, I know that's absolute certainty. But what can Scream do for us? Yes. How far away are you? Very far away because they were the second to last move, of course. And uh, well, all our equipment has uh, turned out to be completely useless, evidently. Howdy, partner! Yeah, for the most part. That's why we can force him to reposition. But then again, that's the only thing we can be doing with you here because the blind suppression fire will be completely and utterly ineffective, especially against the uh, enemy eye because we know how things are going for us. Roger, Wilco! Okay, so where are they over here someplace? Well, let's find out and take off these useless, uh, yeah, night vision gods because they are just completely useless in our hands, yeah, apparently. So, activate this thing, can we see him? Amazing you can saddles. see him, good. So, it's the guy who was uh, trying to take us out, presumably. So, fantastic, then we maybe use information to take him out. Of course, it's a fucking single action bomb, so this thing has to be yes. uh, thrown away at one Woody. stage. Okay, uh, since we actually have some information, we can actually shoot, right? Can we not? Probably should try this, even though it's also give away our position. We just have to hope that we are not uh, too close to the other enemies here. So what can we do? We can shoot from the hip. Well, I suppose we just worry about suppression. And everything we shot was indeed off target. Howdy, partner! You can see, you can shoot, you can maybe hit the broadside. Well, maybe not. We just have to wait and see. Hey, what you need? 
So, now we use information once he has that to move around, but then again, the snipers are, uh, yeah, moving in our position, and this guy was providing, he didn't even see us, he didn't even fucking see us, imagine this, okay, but there could be more people around, we just don't know, we have absolutely so, no idea as a matter of fact, but if we stay here, we're that presumably, and of course, we don't have anything, we could be, uh, well, we could throw this thing, I suppose, not really does anything for us right now, yes, yeah, it's a complete road here, they have completely uh, done away with our any and all advantages we had here because it wasn't aware that we had tanks around and once we engaged this, uh, well, the formation, the garrison, I didn't want to leave our allies to die here to perish, but uh, it's only turns out that we will be perishing here after all. Presumably. Yeah, so it's of course completely useless. Uh, if we go here, then we can maybe shoot our side arm, but that's about it. They're also cruising in from all directions, so we cannot stay here, we cannot hit the door, then yeah, Haver is already a bit of a pico, is he not? And uh, since we have vacant this area, uh, abandoned this position, they will also race for here eventually. The uh, smoke, uh, I mean, smoke, yeah, team. Red lights only do so much to stop them. We should actually be watching our back here once in a while. Maybe, well, I'm not quite sure we, uh, well, <laughs> so they can do anything, let's just be honest ourselves. That's not going to do a goddamn thing here, but it does this because, well, it takes tons of action points to do anything. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, well, we can shoot from there, maybe just take it. I suppose we just try this. Okay, now it's pinned down, that's good, and maybe Ruto can disappear further into the woods, and then Ready. we can do anything really except to maybe call one time, one time, only, or two times even, but this better than nothing. Okay, this guy is pinned down, uh, but he's still holding on to his weapon, of course, and uh, we should probably finish him off, and after the woods, we just hope there's no one else in these woods. <laughs> even that's something we cannot make happen, and now we cannot see any longer, well, that's great. So, okay, well, Ruto will just uh, hope that he can disappear into the woods without stumbling into additional opposition along the way from either direction. Okay, we see a bison uh, on the ground here, this guarded one. Well, okay, we get as far away as we can here, presumably. And this is all militia equipment, I would think. And this is completely unclear. We could be walking into a bind. Oh, dear, partner. Okay, well, good job then. Now we should probably turn off this goddamn flashlight, even though they know exactly where we are. Then we maybe can get here at least. So we have slightly better protection than we had before. Miniscule amount. Okay, that leaves. Uh, this guy's of course critical is not dead. So one sniper and a couple of dudes around here somewhere. Yeah, this is a sniper, one of them. Some I heard something on friendly sound and then we hear this guy of course. <laughs> oh, no. And of course we are bleeding. Think I should be saving some of this blood that's squirting out of me here. Don't give me your Ready. fucking nonsense right now. Of course he's right over here, is he not? So they are giving chase, of course. But I think instead of moving around and then looking around, yeah, okay, we have these two people. Let's just get moving here. Ready. Right, of course they have another fucking sniper, but keep running. Okay. Keep running, keep running, keep running, and some running. Yeah, and run some more here, please. What you need. Of course, since we're injured and also bleeding, we have like 48 natural action points. Okay, there's one sniper and uh, someone with a handgun. And okay, that leaves how many dudes around still? So, so okay, that's, uh, this guy is still, of course, not dead. Howdy, partner! Well, I can only hope that we can extract them some capacity so that we can. Yeah, they're also closing in from the other direction. Uh, I'm sure we just cannot see them right now. Yeah, but how can we extract them? We just cannot. We don't have anything remaining here. Howdy, and I cannot see anything on my screen here, evidently. Oh, certainly very interesting engagement I'm hoping, but it's also a very frustrating one. So, okay. Uh, yeah, there's a fucking guy. He's critical and he is uh, pinned down, but he's still combat effective. Well, he could be at least in fear. He's a nuisance. He has to be yeah, done away with. More <laughs> Now our, One yeah, not really know, our revolvers out of ammo, and since we can't do anything, and we also shot the best thing we can do is to take a knee here, so that's 10 people, we know two uh, right behind of us, so three, okay, so seven people, some players, and the last time we said they were like four over there, so I think that's uh, must be, yeah, it's okay, uh, I'm not sure we can handle this, I don't think we can, so we just retreat and leave our, uh, well, I don't think we can mount the vehicle, only the driver can, and the other guys have to march back on foot here. Yeah, but okay, most of them are dying, I think. Well, great. Um, hey, sure, great. Well, what can we do? I mean, Razor is already trying to pull away as fast as he can. We have yeah, some bushes, we have some concealment. I only see some fucking pine trees around here, and they don't do a whole lot for us. Yeah, why also night vision goes so ineffective, especially on a night of specialist? That's something I don't understand, to be frank. Yeah, but we can't do anything with 41 action points, so hope that we can distract ourselves here eventually. So, yeah, <laughs> in case in point, we just cannot see anything. That's the thing at this part yeah. that it is. Okay, well, um, sure, why you can suppress, I suppose, but we also need to check behind our backs here once in a while. Ooh, well, I'm not sure if we can, yeah, we are effectively combat ineffective for all intents and purposes, our entire squad is. Yes. 
I think it's in complete disarray. Woody? Well, if we leave someone behind, it's probably going to be you here, right? Because they're not the fastest one, and they will be closing in, and you cannot see them very well, but they have experience level 8 here, I suppose. Our squad yes. also needs to help out with the uh, set squad leader bonuses from the other side is somewhere. Maybe we can make this happen, maybe we can just uh, have to uh, see if we can pull anything out of our ass here. We can also mount the vehicle and drive around, even though we don't have any functional headlights on that thing. Of course, that's exactly where we are still, for whatever stupid reason. Obviously, the light now we get shot in the spine here. Yes. I'm not sure if we're actually shooting at anyone specifically. Yeah, so I don't think we can. No, I don't think we can. Just have to retreat here. And uh, once again, we were looking at an 100% uh, elite force as the reinforcements. It's obviously the light here. Okay, can we hey, actually move? Yeah, how can they see us all the time? How can they really? fucking see us all the time? I'm not quite sure, man. So, can we do anything about them? Yes. Can we disseminate the area? So, they're less likely to uh, shoot back here without getting ourselves killed for a change. It would not be, uh, wow. Okay, Roger, uh, we'll go. Oh, this some place we know is up to 30, but we cannot see a goddamn fucking thing because apparently they have night vision uh, goggles uh, mark 4 or whatever here. And you tell me we can't do anything about them while the revolver is empty, then we just uh, sweep through the area with our flashlight, even though it's extremely risky. No, cannot see them. Can we see them? No, we cannot see anything. We cannot see a goddamn fucking thing. Are you telling me? These people, they have 100% camouflage and they have uh, these night vision goggles mark 4. Ready. Is that what they're telling me their game? Because I, I can bullshit on this because so many gotcha. things have gone amiss on us here in this engagement alone. And I really beg to differ as to the fairness of this entire setup. Because I don't hey, see much of fairness and they were even blasting away into here once again, even though we are prone. So... Ready. We should not be visible to the enemy force of the party. What we want to do here I'll is uh, about essentially it's the bullshit, you know. Okay, we need to at least scoot a little bit since we just used our flashlight. We take a knee and uh, what can we do? I Woody? mean, uh, we apparently we've come to a conclusion that all of our night vision yeah. equipment is completely and utterly useless. Yes. Okay, what can we do? Who's the least uh, useful yeah. of this trio? Well, it would be Rudolph getting into the vehicle, I guess. Yes. If you go there at all, of course. Well, we don't want to leave this thing behind, supposedly. Uh, but only one can be a driver. Yeah. We can mount this as a passenger when combat is going on. Now, if only have some information, you know, we don't have anything, we don't have anything at all. Zero. Uh -huh. Nada, as a matter of fact. So, uh, yeah, we can go prone here, of course. What else? Okay, when he's prone and ready, the light machine gun, baby, it is useful there once in a while. We just have to uh, wait and see. And this is something we cannot reload with our uh, hand of action points, right? No, we can, of course. So, guys, just keeping the other area safe. But even, uh, we, even so, we set up some protection against the flankers. We didn't hear or, yeah, didn't hear or see anyone, even with experience level 8 and headset and all item specialists being nearby. Yes. Nothing could be achieved from this. Absolutely nothing. Oh, we try to get in here then, I guess, while swimming on the landmine. Because the militia was in this area here, wasn't er, there, not there. Okay, so, uh, sure, but the machine is nice and all, but I think, um, uh, the rifle will be slightly more useful. Okay, we ready this thing here and hope for some decent results eventually, because we happen to have the night uh, ops trade together with the uh, night vision goggles. And it's saying uh, we can't hit or see anything. Always good. Why don't we try out this area here so we can actually hear something? Woody? Picking up noise, Woody. Shut up. I hear something. Right, of course. <laughs> Of course you can of course you cannot see anything. Of course you cannot see anything now. Great, fantastic. So it was over here and uh, we cannot see him because well, I'm not quite sure because it's night vision equipment we don't apparently. Oh great, fantastic indeed. So okay, we see two people because of the militia. And what are they actually now we see only oh only one guy, but isn't that great? He's slightly wounded. Okay, hey, but we thought our county after all and yeah, so once again. I'm so good I'm fucking done with this. Okay, maybe just retreat, but then again, yeah, still 10 people in the sector, of course, and we do not know where most of them are, apparently. Well, great indeed. Yes. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so, uh, Gus needs to reboot here once again. Woody! Because, yeah, as I fully ex expected, uh, these people, they were breaking for our positions because we abandoned them, and now we have the entire good um, information to worry about back here, and we cannot see anything. So, okay, fantastic indeed. But we can try to throw a grenade and rest away. That's an option, I suppose. Also, if this guy can see, we would just get to press the over and over and over and over and over again. And the only opportunity I can see right now is to put a lovely little uh, master gas grenade right on top of them. If you have some idea of where they may be located, which apparently is not back here. But then again, <laughs> oh, what's precisely on target? Well, take it. Well, enjoy it, but you're fucking idiot. And if you just have to retreat here once again, then because it chase us down. And it means, hey, why I can do what exactly? Oh, uh, we have the score, but it's not something we can attach during combat, of course. But it's not ready anyway, so it gives, I guess, that we can change position as required still. 
Hopefully, well, that will be over here eventually, I would think. So, of course, yeah, do this stupid parkour. Now we don't have any action points to read, that's the big yes. thing. Always in the lights. Okay, how, what can we do about these yeah. people? So, Razor really? is slightly injured, but he's still somewhat combat effective. And we should probably be uh, defending ourselves here, right, in some capacity. So, we have exactly one grenade remaining, and, uh, well, of course, cannot see anything. Hey, what you need? And well, we can't see anything back here. We know there's two people around instead of only one. So, can we fix this? Well, attacks is uh, back in some place. Uh, where's the militia friend? So, not directly in front of us, right? Okay, so, well, we have to be brave once again. Also, provide some ice for scheme incidentally because this rifle is ready. And one, we cannot see anything. And if we throw brake light, would this be better? Would this be worse? I mean, creates another. Um, yeah, okay, but the brake light, of course, is uh, throwable. And this is just something we can activate. Well, the snipers uh, further away to the south are not as concerned about him, but once again, can we see anything? Really? No, yeah, we cannot. I said the fucking night vision goggles interfering with us once again. I think they are, right? Well, at least we can see him now. Damn it! Of course, they can also see us then. And Reza really? doesn't have any night vision goggles, but even so, he cannot see him. Yes. And Scream has. Yeah, of course, it's in blind spot. Did you expect anything else? Well, we can defend ourselves hey, here, I suppose, mean? but since we're already injured, well, um, we have obviously winning something automatic when there were one sniper back here. And it's out of the woods, I guess. We take some shots and we need to defend ourselves. We can have to defend ourselves. We need to defend ourselves. Apparently, uh, these uh, guys don't want to defend themselves. They want to perish and die. Well, that's also an option, I suppose. It's not a good option, uh, something I would be taking. But if you want to do it, then I suppose be my guest. I have not of anything, uh, yeah, like at all here. Yeah, best thing you can do is to some nice, I guess. But I don't really care. If I can see it doesn't matter, then we just try this unaimed here. Play some suppression, and uh, of course, I didn't do jack shit because we're talking about an all lead force incident that you cannot see a good thing. But yes. I don't really care. I'm not going to uh, get any closer to the screen right now. Instead, we just try to offer some long range fire support because we have squad leader. And we just have to deal with the return fire and hope that it's somewhat uh, inaccurate. Ha, yeah, this oh, eben, doesn't even uh, care, not even coming in fear, anything like this. Okay, so, uh, wow, um, now we can try to throw some master gas on top of them, I guess. Yeah, there's two people around, right? So, well, fantastic. That doesn't seem to be achieving anything. And I know that this guy is an idiot, so, um, suppression wouldn't affect anything else. You could be thrown on top of him in, time, yeah, in terms of being time delayed, which is also the case here, incidentally, is it not? Actually, no, these gas grenades there aren't uh, time delayed, they're impact detonator. Okay, first things to start with, I got a flashlight, and then we came back, we get to the course, so 61, uh, 47 action points, okay. I don't want to throw it right on top of us here, text that would be swell. Oh, we try this, I guess. And it's of course slightly off time, but this can take a name, and then we take some return fire here, I would presume, in some capacity or another. Howdy, partner. Yeah, wow. It's gonna be saying, really. So we're looking still at uh, 10 people, and uh, this guy, uh, so apparently, he, of course, he moved away because our suppression once again is completely yeah, utterly ineffective. Need. So, of course, you cannot see. And so, uh, there were two people back here behind the wrecked vehicle, um, finishing off the rest of the militia, and then someone else is shooting a sniper rifle. I think we just have to get out of here. So, someone drives the truck, and the other guys, they move away, but of course, he cannot because the route is bleeding. And if we try to march away, if we are bleeding, then we bleed out on the way because the game is uh, set up in this way to be absolutely obnoxious about stuff. Okay, but, um, we did of a pickle here, aren't you, my friend? So this is the only uh, combat effective militia um, in Romania like at all. Howdy, partner! I don't think we can ask them to recap yeah, this guy still around, right? Because our grenade didn't achieve anything at all. Yeah, so I'm going to yeah. be doing. I have absolutely zero idea. I'm completely lost here. They Wait. have completely rooted us, so we should just get out of here and be done with it, right? Yeah, can we make this uh, position any tighter? Should we do? Because they have a close from other directions and just uh, continue to take us apart here. I'm not going to show what went wrong. I have to review the footage, but it was a very long way for the engagement. And we have not achieved our goal. We have been completely rooted. And uh, okay, this campaign was uh, bound to be seeing some up and downs, but this is just. This is just beyond belief here. So we are facing, uh, yeah, two tanks. We summon into two tanks. We take out one on the opening body. Okay, the other tank absorbs uh, three quarts in total together with a handful of AT grenades. And then the reinforcements consist of uh, 12 elite forces, and we finished down to 10 in total. We've lost all of our militia. We have lost two mercenaries almost. And we still have 10 people to worry about in this goddamn fucking sector. And now we have to hey, uh, get out of here with the tails between our legs. 
Howdy, so, all the work was for nothing, essentially. And this is the entire roster of combat effective people we have right now, and they will immediately be in position to make a push against Gotham, so we have to defend against it at great ways, set up some defensive perimeter of all of our people, so we have to use another regeneration booster to get Rudok up to fighting shape, so who else is around here? Ellie is, uh, well, Ellie can maybe fight still. Madog uh, can maybe, it's so, okay, we have to scrape the bottom of the barrier once in a while, I suppose. Well, fantastic indeed, so I'm not quite sure uh, if we can even survive a couple more turns, because evidently, uh, by the way, we've also expanded most of our ordnance, of course, and this stuff is mostly irreplaceable. If we give away to the uh, sector, the enemies will also be stealing whatever is on the ground, which is rather substantial. 133 items, and we have something, maybe on the ground we actually want to pick up there. Also, it's essential, except for these grenades, presumably. Despite taking 60 militia with us, we have been defeated, I guess. Oh, well, I suppose I just admit defeat here because it incident is exactly what uh, we yeah. are looking at here. Ready. Oh, this plane is got a first aid kit because it's apparently the hey, game hates our fucking guts. Yes. Evidently, so we have to keep you as a blocking force and this guy of course is still combat effective Ready. trying to get away. Okay, well, we have to stay for one more turn, so just uh, suck it up, I suppose, and hope that we can intercept some people along the way, and what can we do? Okay, so, um... Yeah! Well, we know where people are, I guess. Okay, uh, sure. Well, um, let's hit the dirt here, ready that thing, in case it turns out to be a good idea here after Woody. all, and Gus will just, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, you drive the vehicle then, I guess, for now. That's a mobile cover point, because things are actually that dire here, apparently. Yeah, but they can blast away at the car for I do care for now. Yeah! Wait, so, no. because we can even extract ourselves successfully, this remains to be seen. And I'm more concerned about this angle, am I not? So, that's will be the focus of our, uh, our attention for now. Of course, ah. spin it down. This is the second one. The second last one, militia dead. Yes! So, south and southwest, at least we are bandaged. Yes, yes, finally. So, south and southwest. Where is your south? It's directly here. So, there are people right in these woods over here someplace. Okay, I'm not sure if the vehicle can actually retreat. Uh, let's just find out. Yeah, I don't think anyone else can mount the vehicle, even uh, if you do it manually in combat. So, we have been completely rooted. You have exactly one die militia friend someplace. Yeah, we can make this happen while the game is ongoing or combat is ongoing. Wow, fantastic. So, that's the first, I mean, it's not the first significant defeat of this campaign, is it? Or, but can we get out of here? We can. Okay, let's move the car, and then anyone else here was still stuck in this goddamn horrible place. And the really? Eats apparently have a one day for today, and we then have to defend Gotham City. Well, great, so, um, all mugs and spot, I'll get out of here. Okay, this now over the field, and there we go. Oh, it wasn't even our lead force, really. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't stand a chance, it's poor pal. <laughs> great, fantastic. So, that's what we get for... Yeah, what else can I be saying about this really? So it was a horrible engagement from start to finish. I mean, the opener wasn't that terrible, but then afterwards we were completely unable to deal with the reinforcements because we were never in a position to deal with the reinforcements to begin with because the fucking second tank was still around. So we were unable to do anything about this stuff despite throwing two rockets and a couple of grenades at this thing. Apparently, but one to didn't matter, right? Well, fantastic indeed. So there is the... Yeah, of course. Militia is dead. Yeah, whatever. Here, that will also impact our return loyalty for a little bit, I would think. Not too badly, but now uh, Gotham City is, of course, a little bit of a pickle, but at least uh, we have some relation to work with inside city limits. Yeah, great. So it wasn't even a fucking elite force, it was just some random dudes here, but of course we are closer to the capital, so they have better equipment. Yeah, fantastic elite, but certainly was uh, action packed from start to finish, right? Yeah, so okay, another two and a half hours of recording session for no pay of really, and this comes to progressing our campaign, because we have been rooted, we have been injured, we have expanded all of our heavy ordnance for the most part, every single little bit. But this is okay of this roadblock, but again, um, if we let the enemies have this, they will also be respawning there, I suppose. So I've actually trained some militia. We are trained some militia right now, so get out of bed here, you lazy ass. Okay, well, hopefully I can uh, come up with some sort of plan here in between episodes, but unfortunately, we will have to defend Goff in some capacity or move on against them once again. I mean, if the tanks are still burning, they should not be replaced. And yeah, well, we have to wait and see what we can make them, because all of our militia forces have been completely depleted, all 16 of them. Well, fantastic. Okay, then, uh, so sorry to leave it on downer today, but I was going to be saying that you were witness to what uh, happened in this episode, right? So, with that, I thank you for watching as usual, and I hope to see you next time.